Get ready to put your brains to the test because these are the hardest who would win challenge videos ever. From solving impossible riddles to guessing who would win in insane battles, these challenges are so difficult that only geniuses can beat it. Once your brain is all warmed up, stick around to the end for one of the trickiest riddles ever. Let's go. Hey, we're seeing if we can figure out who will win. What's this? Who is more dangerous, Hippopotamus or Shark? What is this? Okay, guys, this is a really fun game where it's going to show us two animals, and we have to decide which one we think is more dangerous. Oh, which one's more dangerous? What do you mean? Which one oofs more people on average? Hippos don't oof people. Yeah, they do sometimes. No, they don't. Yeah, if you were to walk up and poke a hippo with a stick, it would probably oof you. I don't poke hippos with sticks. <laughs> How would you do that? Sharks, are they dangerous? Not thick shark. Yeah, thick shark's lit. Only dangerous to food! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we gotta see who oofs more people. Yeah. A shark or a hippo podcast? I think a shark probably does. I mean, a shark, very scary. Yeah, look at all the teeth. Um, except for Dick Shark. Dick Shark is super thick and super nice. How do hippo, hippos don't even oof people, man? You think what's going to have a hippo going to sit on you? I mean, you want to lock in Shark? I think the Shark is more dangerous, bro. If you see a Shark in the ocean, you'd be scared. If you see a hippo at the zoo, you just say, look, mommy, it's a hippo. Yeah, let's, let's lock in Shark. All right, let's go. All right, so definitely we got this one, right? Who's more dangerous? It's got to be the shark, dude. Yeah, guys, and play along. What? <laughs> a hippo oof 500 people a year and a shark oof 10? So a hippo's way more dangerous. No, it doesn't. Where'd they get these numbers? Probably they asked the hippos. Oh. We got that one wrong, guys. What? Okay, now it says who's more dangerous, a piranha or an elephant? Okay, guys, <laughs> so let's see. We got that last one wrong. That that was really embarrassing. We, we did. We got it wrong. We got it wrong, eh? We got that last one wrong. We got that last one wrong. That was embarrassing. Yeah. So okay. we're going to try to get this one right now. Is it a piranha or an elephant? <laughs> Can you speak, don't, bro? Don't baby talk me. Bro, you said it first, bro. Piranha or elephant? I mean, it's got to be an elephant, bro. How's a fish when it's going to eat somebody? Well, piranhas are like really evil fish. Like, they can eat people. What? They're like, how's a fish going to eat somebody? What are you saying? <laughs> they, they like team up and eat people. Guys. Where did you hear this? I read it in a book about animals. Piranhas are like really um aggressive fish. No! But elephants, they're normally nice unless you're mean to them first. Like, if you were mean to, like, a baby elephant and were like, hey, you're a loser, then they might try to charge at you. But if you're just... I might to try to charge at you if you keep talking nonsense. <laughs> you try to tell me a fish is gonna eat me, and you're gonna tell me to talk about baby elephants? This tusk right there could oof anybody. I think that the piranha is the right answer. Yeah, why are you trolling, dude? How's a fish gonna oof more people than an elephant? Because I'm telling you, piranha. Let me give you a demonstration. A demonstration. <laughs> I'm an elephant. <laughs> okay, you're oof. Now I'm a fish. <laughs> yeah, but what if there was a million of you and all of you are super angry? I'm still in the water. How am I going to oof someone on dry land? All right, what do you want to lock in? The elephant? The elephant, bro. I'm saying piranha. Okay, if I'm wrong, I quit this game right now. All right, let's see, guys. Lock in your answer. No chance I'm wrong. <laughs> no! Let's go! Oh. One person per year. It would have just been me. Yeah, probably, because you try to turn him into a fish west. Yeah, wow. Let's go! A big brain. Okay, another ridiculous question. Which oops more, wolves or dogs? Obviously a wolf, dude. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Obviously it's a wolf. What do you mean? But I think there's more dogs around people. So maybe a dog, if they're really angry together, they might oof you. I don't know. But guys, also, I forgot to mention, if Justin's able to beat me in this game, I'm going to give him a real cool present. I'm already up. I'm up 1-0. All right, we'll find out. So watch to the end. I'll show you what that present is at the end. You but... think dogs oof more people than wolves? If you're on the street and you see this running at you or this, which one's more dangerous? Obviously. Oh, oh, 
Don't mess with me. I think it's probably wolf too. You think it's wolf? Yeah. See, I I, I convinced you. You thought it was a dog. You scared of Scooby Doo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say wolf. Yeah, I'm not scared of Paw Patrol. They're here to help me. Yeah, dogs okay. are cool. All right, it's gotta be wolf, man. All right, let's see if we're right or wrong. I gotta be right, dude. Let's go. All right, we got that one. What? <laughs> That's not real. 25,000 people. And why is that? That looks like Aiden when he can't have more. No! <laughs> Ma! <laughs> Give me some man! Uh, wow! This is wrong, bro. Who made this? 25,000 people get oofed by dogs? I, I mean... Maybe. What? How? How's a dog even oof somebody? By biting them in the neck. What? <laughs> I don't know. Guys, so I guess we got that one super mm. wrong. Super duper wrong. Mm. <laughs> what? Now it's just getting ridiculous. Which is more dangerous, a snail or a stingray? Now you're getting ridiculous. A snail or a stingray? This one has the word sting in its name. It's gonna sting you. What if a million snails were covering you and all of their slime got on your body? Actually, in a recent video, I became a snail and I snail slimed on egg. Really? I snail slimed on you because we tried snail face masks. That was a recent video? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to say stingray. You just said a, way a million snail slime on you. Why are you going to pick stingray? Um, I'm going to go reverse psychology. It's a snail. <laughs> okay. I'll snail slime all over you. Guys, would you rather have to fight against a million snails or one stingray? Would you rather fight against a horse? Horse sized bunny or a bunny sized horse? I would probably rather fight against a bunny sized horse because it would be like pretty small. I'm gonna say snail. All right, let's see who's right. You said stingray? I said stingray. No way I get this wrong. Guys, lock in your answer. Maybe they're poisonous. Are snails poisonous? <gasps> what? Think about that. I remember snails can be poisonous like frogs. Like, when you eat a snail? Yeah, if you eat a snail, it's Why would poisonous. you ever? Don't ever do that. Why would you do that? Some people eat snails. A live snail? No, 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 like cooked snails, but. That is poisonous? I think there are some poisonous snails in the world. But you wouldn't cook one as poisonous. Yeah, I don't know, guys, but I just realized I forgot, like, frogs and stuff like that, reptiles can all be poisonous, like a snake. I activated my lizard brain on that one. Wow. I got a snail brain in here. Guys, let us know if you got that right so you are one step closer to getting your present. I'm zooming on you. Wow. <laughs> Okay, fly. What is that? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's some type of interesting fly or versus a tarantula. Okay, obviously tarantula. That's so scary. But what if the fly could carry like poison between people? What? Because flies and mosquitoes and stuff can carry like oof stuff. I think there's some oof stuff in your brain, my friend. <laughs> like tell you, dog, there's some oof stuff in here. <laughs> Let me get it out. Okay, I'm gonna say yeah, the dude, fly. I don't, I don't want oof stuff on me, no matter what. Whatever happens, don't put oof stuff on my brain. <laughs> I think it's the fly because a Why? fly can get like bacteria on it and then inject it into a human. No, it can't. How would it do that? Because it would fly around and find a bunch of. How would it inject you? It's like a mosquito. It can... Flies can't do that. Maybe this one can. Look at the thing on its head. You're making stuff up. I think it's obviously the spider. The spider. If this was a bee, I would say it's the bee. Because some people are allergic. Uh, people are allergic to bees. They might get stung once and oof. Maybe people are allergic to... You don't even know how to say it. Do you know how to say it? No, you say it. Setsy. To setsy. You say it's a fly. <laughs> it's the tarantula. I'm going to lock in the fly. I lock in tarantula. Tarantula. Ugh, I'm going to bite you. Let's see who's right. Here we right. go. Tarantula. Oh! No, no, no. That's... Obviously wrong. Boom! Nah, this video's rigged. How do you get zero people oofed by train? It's not even Someone's right. Someone's getting a little bit farther away from getting their present. That's all I'm gonna say. Give me the present! <laughs> all right.
right, here's the next one. Crocodile versus snake. Now this is actually a really, really hard one because crocodiles, they're bigger, they're scary, and they seem really dangerous, but snakes are also super poisonous. Like what kind of lizard is this though? It's a crocodile. That's what a crocodile looks like? Yeah. It's and an alligator. I don't actually know the difference between an alligator. a crocodile or an alligator, but I know that they are really powerful and strong. What is this, bro? What kind of insect is that? That's a snake. I mean, no, no, a snake's slithery on the ground. What is this? That's the head of a snake. What? Yeah, that's a snake when they bite you. This looks like kind of like a dog. <laughs> so I'm gonna say snake. Yeah, this looks like a cute little doggo. I don't know. This is an alligator. This video is wrong, bro. That's an alligator. Probably the crocodile is probably more dangerous. Why? It's so big that it'll be able to bite your leg and pull you to the bottom of the swamp. But snakes have poison. Yeah, but they couldn't pull you to the bottom of the swamp. They could just poison you. You try to go visit Shrek in the swamp? I don't know, guys. This one's really hard. I feel like they're even. Like, they probably both oof like a million people a year. What kind of dog is this, though? I don't think that's a dog. It looks so happy, though. It does look really happy, but I think it would oof you if you tried to give it a treat. Don't get close to either of these animals ever, guys. Yeah, guys. Both these are very dangerous. I don't know, because this guy, he looks like he just be waddling. Uh -huh. The snake. You ever see a snake coming at somebody? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. I would say snake. I'll say crocodile. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see who's right. I, better, I better get this right, bro. Come on, crocodile, crocodile, crocodile. Let's go! Wow! But they both oof a lot of people in a year. Yep. That snake's so cute. Yeah, see, that's what snake looks like. What was the other one, man? That was crazy. That snake that has the same length of neck as me. Yeah, right. show. Turn more to the side. Really extended. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of look like a snake. <laughs> yeah! Okay, now this one says, do you know how to survive a crocodile attack, bro? Okay, and the two options are, should you run in a straight line to get away from a crocodile, or should you run in zigzags? I mean, obviously, a straight line. Do you run faster? Why would you run in zigzags? Maybe some people are faster running zigzags than straight lines. How is what? How is that possible? Because if you run in a straight line, then gravity, like, affects you differently than if you're bouncing all around. Explain that. Gravity goes down. Yeah. So if there's too much gravity on you, you can't run that fast. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is dumb. Why don't I just test it out? I'll time you. I'm not going to listen to your theories. I'll time you. I'm so, from here to the finish line right here. Imagine there's a crocodile right here. We're going to add one right here. You go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I made it. Now, let me try it zigzag style. What? They beat your leg! Justin, there's a crocodile on you! Ah! <laughs> See? The zigzag is whack. Wow. I kinda, didn't even make it to the finish line. I thought you were dancing for a I second. I know. I look so lit. It's obviously a straight line. Why would you run in zigzags? You'd be slower running in zigzags. I think it's zigzags. Why are you saying it like that, bro? Because I'm excited to see what the answer is. You guys see what I do with this one? Added the heat. He goes, hey, mom. <laughs> I think it's time for some <laughs> I'm gonna lock in zigzag. Why? After my demonstration? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I thought it was funny how you look like you were dancing. So maybe the crocodile would start dancing. Obviously straight line, bro. And I think a crocodile wouldn't be able to turn directions that easily. What? <laughs> yeah, because a crocodile, it can't like turn its body that fast. It doesn't need to turn. You're still going in a straight line. Yeah, but it would confuse it. This is scary. Okay, this one says, what would you do to survive? It's a lion. Okay, spelling the word lions. Hmm. That's the question. Maintain eye contact, try to look bigger, or run away. Obviously, run away. What is this going to do, bro? Yeah, but maybe if you run away, the lion will chase after you. But if you try to look super big and intimidating, then the lion will get all scared. Hey, I'm going to say this now. Nobody listen to anything in this video because there's no science behind this. Both of these are probably wrong. Yeah, I think these people are lions. It, what? Like lying. You lying right now. Don't call me Simba. <laughs> I'll be Simba. You be Pumba. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Guys, if this is the right answer somehow, never try this in your lives. Because I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. Maintain eye contact. What you going to make the lion scared of you? Well, yeah, that's kind of scary. <laughs> like a staring contact. Imagine you're a lion and you see this. <laughs> I would not oof me if I had to look at this. Imagine you saw this. 
<laughs> try to appear, try to appear big. Yeah, you can literally appear big by t posing. <laughs> appear big by flexing my muscles. Wow, guys, look at this muscle. Wow. It's obviously runaway, dude. How a lion can't can a lion outrun a human? Yeah. What why is that funny? You can't even outrun me. I don't think you could outrun a lion, Justin. I've never tried. I'm I would not try. You would ooh. A hundred percent. You, you sure? are I You thinking of a cheetah. You think of a Chester the cheetah. You think you could outrun run, cheetahs? Cheetahs can run fast. No. You think you could outrun a lion? I don't know. A lion just a big dog. So that's easy to run away from. A dog that that's not a dog and will oof you. And what? it's also a lion. A lion is a species of dog. <laughs> and I can outrun most dogs. I've tried. I go to the dog park and I <laughs> run faster than all of them. Yeah, sometimes my mom takes us to the dog park and she throws a ball around for Justin. I, yeah, and then Adam takes a bath with the little dogs with the little hose faucet thing on the ground. Yeah, if the leash reaches that far. Yeah, ties you to a post. Yeah, you get to run around. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm off week. <laughs> Didn't mean to flex on you. <laughs> jealous? Yeah, I still got the you collar jealous? on now. Jealous? <laughs> yeah, it's a cool one. It's Paw Patrol. <laughs> I think I could outrun a lion. I'm not saying to try that. I'm saying I could. I say for you, this is your best hope. Because you can't run faster than a lion, but I can. Hmm. I'm going to say the answer is maintain eye contact, try to look bigger. I'm going to say it's run away. All right, let's see who's right, guys. For both of these, never do anything. Just don't ever put yourself in a situation where no. you're with a lion. And if you are, don't try something you learned on YouTube. All right, let's see who's right. Oh! I got it right. So yeah, I guess if you try to run away, a lion will just chase after you and that hoop you. That is not true. Never do this ever. Well, actually, I don't really know because if you don't run and you don't do this, I guess what can you do? I would probably just play oof. Yeah, guys, don't take any advice from us or YouTube. I don't know what to do. Okay, now what would you do to survive a shark? I mean, what? Okay, turn your back and swim away. That's probably wrong. Maintain eye contact. Hit the gills. What's that? <laughs> what you mean? Hit the, hit the gills? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ship. I guess our options are either you could swim away or you could try to like karate chop the gills of the shark. What do you mean hit the gills? Like where the shark breathes underwater. Don't hit the gills. Think sharks are dumb. Oh, these are think sharks gills. Yeah, that would hurt, guys. Don't ever do that. Why would you do that to a fish? Oh, yeah, baby thick shark has gills too. Yeah, obviously. Aww. Why would you do that, bro? Why Don't punch a fish. Well, I guess if a shark is swimming after you, that means it's probably trying to oof you, so... Maybe it wants to be a friend. Thick Shark wants to be people's friends. Yeah. But Thick Shark's one in, one of a kind. I don't think most sharks in the wild are like Thick Shark. Yeah. Thick Shark just likes eating gummy candy. Yeah, the answer is I would throw the new Lakey Box sour gummy candies at him because Thick Shark loves those. Yeah, that's true, yeah. but I don't know. Ugh. I would probably say hit the gills. Bro, his brain <laughs> sputtered so hard. Are you all right? Yeah. I would definitely, between these two, again, don't do either of them because they're probably both wrong. I don't think this is right because unlike the lion, there's no way you can outswim a shark. A shark is fast. Right, yeah. I guess it's this one. Don't don't hit sharks, though. Yeah. But I guess if your life depends on it, mate, I don't know. Yeah, if a shark's coming at me, though, I don't think I'd be able to remember you what could to play, do. You could play oof. I would probably play oof, yeah. Yeah, I would throw a lanky box of gummies at it. I hope that works. Yeah, all right. The right answer was hit the gills. Let's go. Now, what do you do to survive... A a rhinos. Run straight okay. or hide behind large obstacles. Okay, well this one actually kind of makes sense because you hide behind like a rock because the rhino has a horn. It like wants to run into you. So if you hide behind like Rocky, it can't run into you. Yeah, you're right. I bet rhinos aren't very good at like turning around. So I that's would... what you said about the crocodile. Yeah, and I get that one right. Yeah, but that's a crocodile. It's a different animal. Yeah, but rhinos, they have the horn here. So it's probably really hard to even see. Like if you put your that's yeah. me. No, I'm just saying, like, they probably aren't good at, like, turning directions. They probably like running in, like, a straight line. Okay, you try it. Have the horn and then run in a straight line. And then try turning. <laughs> you see that coming? No. Well, then I think it's this one. You're gonna say that one? I'll say run straight. I don't think you can outrun a rhino, bro. Yeah, rhinos are pretty quick. Well, actually, mm. I don't know. I've never seen a rhino run. Yeah, I haven't either. Are they fast? I'm pretty sure they're fast, yeah. I would say hide behind large obstacles. That makes sense. I'm pretty sure we would not be able to outrun a rhino. Well, maybe not you. Or you. I don't think well, you could. Well, 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 Adam. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Because I got the new Skechers. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, now guys, we gotta choose who is more dangerous, okay? The puffer fish or the, what is that? A stingray? Ooh, so both of these animals are underwater. I don't know which one is actually more dangerous. I've never seen either of these in real life. The puffer fish <laughs> looks pretty scary though. Yeah, it's like Mrs. Puff. It's like me. <laughs> I get huge. Yeah. Okay, now, how could that be more dangerous? What is this? What is this? Some sort of... <laughs> right, guys, make sure you play along in the comments. See if you can get these right. I think these videos have the actual data and science on who would win. Right. Now, the stingray, I believe it can sting you. Is this who more dangerous? Like, who oofs more, like, animals or, like, humans? It's who oofs more humans per year. Huh? So, we have to decide which one oofs more people on Puffer average. Fish not gonna oof humans. How do you get oofed by this guy? Well, pufferfish is one of those fishes that gets super big with spikes on it, so maybe if someone picked it up and was like playing with it and then it like all of a sudden got huge, it would just oof you. Ah! Yeah. Okay, I think it's gotta be the stingray because it has the word sting. <laughs> Man, what's so funny? Well, go, go ahead. Yeah, hey, the boy Sting. <laughs> what's funny? No, go ahead. No, what's funny? I was saying, I, I saw a video of a pufferfish eating a carrot, and it's real scary. That's what you're thinking of? Yeah. I'm trying to explain my logic here. Wait, if we can put a video on screen of a pufferfish eating a carrot, that will show you these guys are crazy. That's how Adam eats. I know what video you're talking about. <laughs> That's how Adam eats. When he's sitting in his little booster chair. I'm a lock-in pufferfish. I'm gonna log in Stingray. It has the word Sting in its name. It's got a Sting laser beam ray. It's gonna oof a lot of people. Let's see. All right, let's go. What? Six <laughs> oofs per year. How does it oof people, guys? Somebody let us know in the comments. How does this fishy oof people? All right, next round. Nah. <laughs> okay. Okay, now you're being ridiculous now. <laughs> this game's ridiculous. Who's more dangerous? A bear. Or a cow. <laughs> I would probably say a cow. Why? Because what if someone's deathly allergic to milk and they drink it and they <clears throat> uh, uh, That's not they the cow's <laughs> fault. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, play along because we actually have a secret animal race video to show you at the end as well. Okay, I could see maybe the cow could be dangerous if it like sits on a farmer. <laughs> That's funny to you? Like, that's funny? That's people oofing. You laughing. You think a cow's gonna sit on a farmer? It might. <laughs> and then you will oof because that looks very heavy. A farmer is not dumb enough to let a cow sit on him. You don't know. <laughs> Old McDonald had a cow and it sat on him. Wow. wow. I'm gonna say cows, dude. Are you, you're trolling. A no. bear could oof about 10 cows. Could a cow beat a bear in a battle? No. But that's not what we're doing. We're not <laughs> saying who will win. We're saying who is more humans. Right. It's gotta be the bear, dude. A bear just go one time. How would a cow even oof somebody? All right, I'm, I'm a lock in cow. Jazzy gonna lock in bear. Let's see who's Adam right. I'm gonna say a cow oofs more people by drowning them in. <laughs> okay. No! Yeah! No, somebody let us know in the comments. How is it even possible? How does a cow even oof somebody? It just runs into him? Like, I guess so, yeah. Or maybe it kicks it like with its hind legs or something. A cow kick people? Yeah. Man, are you kidding me? Okay, now we got a chimpanzee or a deer. Okay, now this one is tricky, bro. So both could be dangerous. Like if you steal a banana from a chimpanzee, look, he does not look happy. But <laughs> the deer has those antlers that it could probably just jam inside you. How often you think people steal <laughs> from chimpanzees? I mean, I don't know. Probably a lot. I would say the deer probably. Only because I would be friends with the chimpanzees. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I can speak to them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, if there's any chimpanzees watching, they'll know what Justin said. Yeah. <laughs> what did you just tell them? <laughs> I said I'm hungry. I want some pizza. That's what I said. Okay, well, I'm a lock in chimpanzee. I'm gonna say deer, dude. This thing has like thorns growing out of its head. This gotta oof more people. That's true, but that chimpanzee looks angry. No, it looks happy. What do you mean? <laughs> That's how Adam looks when he gets some mail. <laughs> Alright, let's see the answer. Right, let's go. Woo! Oh! Let's go. 100%. 
120 oops per year. That's more than a bear and a cow and everything. I could believe that though for sure. Yeah, th this looks very dangerous, guys. Who's <laughs> <laughs> more dangerous? A child! <laughs> That's one big child! <laughs> One. Or versus a cone snail. Now, ice cream cone. Immediately, guys, you might be thinking, well, how would a snail if anyone is this big? But I do know snails can be poisonous. So I'm trying they could to think. just slither on your mouth and then you. Yes. Uh, oh. The poison DNA is already in you. It's too late. Right. And I don't think chickens can be poisonous, right? I could have chicken. So, what, you know what Adam would say? What if someone allergic to eggs? <laughs> That's true. That is very that true. Well, the kill could just you to oof. That would take a long time. <laughs> how, how would a chill could even oof somebody? It's not even possible, bro. Hmm. Maybe if you're like driving and the chicken tries to cross the road and you have to swerve to the side and you and you oof. Why did chill get cross the road? To oof people. What? Yeah. I would say the snail. I and this this it says cone snail. That's probably a specific type of very venomous snail. Yeah, I'll go ahead and lock in the chicken. <laughs> okay, I would say a snail. <laughs> 164 deaths <laughs> per year from a chicken. This isn't real. This must be inaccurate. How's it oof 100 people a year? How? No, uh, this is totally how? real, guys. How, how, how? Guys, let us know in the comments. How is that possible? This literally has to be like somebody eats an eggy weggy and then he's allergic. I think how it happens is maybe like the feathers from the chicken falls off and it goes inside of someone's throat and they choke on it or something. Or, yeah, the chicken <laughs> sits on you. <laughs> Just like the cow. Now, all we're learning is farm animals are dangerous. Right. Huh? Okay, now it's a little bit different. We gotta decide who is the fastest. <laughs> Who's the fastest in the jungle kingdom? We got a, what's this, Komodo dragon. A dragon. Versus a sea turtle. So, a guys, turtle. we gotta see which one can move faster. Now, I think Komodo dragons are pretty quick. I mean, it has dragon. It can fly. Obviously, the dragon, bro. But the sea turtle, on land, it's probably pretty slow. But in water, I bet it's really good at swimming. But I don't think so, because aren't sea turtles like 900 years old. Yeah. They're not gonna swim super fast. I saw Finding Nemo and that guy was just chilling. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He would chill it. Yeah, crush. It's gotta be the Komodo dragon. It's I, gotta be the Komodo dragon. I think it's the turtle. I think it's trying to like make me think, oh, turtles are slow. They're not fast. I bet they're actually really fast. Which one would you rather get chased by? Which one would catch you, huh? You think the sea gonna... turtle will probably snap at my toes. I would not want snap that. Snap at Adam Swim Trunks. <laughs> and then Adam be in the water just away his booty. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? What does that have to do with who's fastest? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a locking turtle. I'm gonna say the Komodo dragon, bro. It better be the dragon. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the turtle can swim at 21 miles an hour. It probably can get that fast if it's swimming in a current. Like underwater. Well, that's not fair. All right, here we go. Next round. Okay, who's the fastest, a tiger or a gazelle? Now, right away, I'm thinking it's gonna be the gazelle, bro. Man, this one's actually very hard because I think both of them are pretty quick at a running. A gazelle, I don't know what a gazelle is. It looks like a deer. Like, look how fast. Actually, these legs, could it go that fast? These legs, those are really skinny legs, man. Yeah, that's true. But this guy looks like he's made to run, man. He looks like Bambi. I think it's the tiger. Oh, because in the wilderness, the tiger will probably catch the gazelle and oof it. Right, yeah. Don't know. Him. He's cute looking. Yeah, that's true. And the tiger probably eats a lot of frosted flakes. The tiger's cute looking too. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> that's true. I'm not allowed to have frosted flakes. There's so much sugar. I just hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I get really fast if I eat them. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's tiger. I'll let you decide what you want to pick. Tony the tiger. At the end, that secret racing video that we're going to show you guys later, that might actually settle which one's faster. Okay. But we'll watch that in a bit. I, I think it's the gazelle, bro. All right, I'll lock in tiger. I think it's the gazelle. All right, let's go. Let's go! Wow, 43 miles an hour. That's a really close race. 40 miles per hour? 
That's real fast, guys. That's ridiculously fast. Wow. Now, who's the fastest? We got Foxy. We got a little fox. Or we got a hippo pod. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be the fox. What do you mean? A hippo walks so slow. I think the hippo is actually pretty fast. Because hippos can swim. Right. And I think hippos are really good at swimming. Hmm. This one's real tricky. Um. It's gotta be the fox, man. It's not even close, man. Guys, play along. I, I really don't know what the answer is. That's what a hippopotamus looks like? Yeah. We saw these at the zoo. I only seen the one on um backyard again. Oh. <laughs> we saw this at the zoo? Yeah, remember? No, I was too busy hanging out with the penguins. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> That's all I do. I go to the zoo. I do that for about three hours. <laughs> I'll say the hippo. It's gotta be the fox. Let's go! Wow! Woo! That makes sense. Okay, now we got a cheetah or a falcon. Now, this might be very tricky. I'm thinking everybody knows cheetahs are fast. That's like what they're known for. Falcon can fly. Right, and this is like the falcon flying speed versus the cheetah running speed. Yeah, because the falcon can't run. But that's Chester Cheetah. Wow, Chester Cheetah looks so cool. Mm. Yeah, what if, but did the cheetah eat Cheetos before the race? Yeah, what? that might be. That's important to remember. Mm. If it ate flaming Hot Cheetos, he'd be going run everywhere. Let's say neither of the animals ate anything before the race. This guy would eat Cheetos and this guy would eat Fruit Loops. Oh, yeah. Because of Toucan Sam. Yeah. I, I'm gonna lock in the Falcon. I think the Falcon might be faster because it could fly. You want to take that guess? No, I'll say Chester the Cheetah. I believe in Cheetos. Okay, here we go. Oh! It was the Falcon! Wow, that was a close race, though. Okay, now we have to spot the hidden animal. What? What are we looking at? Some leaves? Yeah, these are just a bunch of leaves. What? There's no animal here. Wait a minute. Is uh, that actually an animal? Where? Okay, guys, I'll trace it with the mouse. I think this is the head of the this animal. The, of what? This is the body. These are the legs. Do you guys see that? Damn. And this is like the tail. What kind of animal is that? I think it probably evolved to look like this. So that way, like, birds and stuff don't even see it. It just looks like a leaf. That's real cool. Yeah, why don't you make, like, a tree and leaf? <laughs> okay. Make, like, a tree and leaf. <laughs> You're saying this is animal was that chameleon i think this is like a type of chameleon yeah let's see if you're right adam no way wow, wow. that's crazy it was a chameleon okay we gotta spot another hidden animal now this was tricky oh i see a little bug right here ha <laughs> Mm, that might also just be like a rock. It's a snail. I think it's like a big animal. What? We're looking at a tree. How can it be a big animal? You see a squirrel? Guys, let us know in the comments if you see this. I'm looking really hard. I don't see anything. Yeah, guys, look super close. Do you guys see anything? I think I might see something. I think you might be cheating somehow. Guys, I'm not going to say where it is, but I think I might see an owl. Like a bird. What? Yeah. Oh, oh. Do you see the owl? I'm looking. All right. I see a snail. Okay. That's an animal. I see a stick bug right here. All right. That's a stick bug. Anything else? I'm looking! <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Where? I actually see the owl. No. Look, you got two little eyes and a beak. I, I think that's just some bark. <laughs> Guys, if you look close, I think the owl is right here. So look, this what? is the ears. Th these are the eyes. And this is the body. Do you see Where are this? the eyes? What do you mean? Right here. This is one of the eyes, and this is the other eye. Oh, its eyes are closed. Yeah. No, that's the owl. Look, there's the <laughs> eye and the beak. <laughs> Obviously, let's see who's right. Are you ready to be amazed? I am. Yeah, with the owl right here, clearly. Right here. <laughs> no way. Okay, now, what animal is this, guys? Let us know if you can get these at home. What kind of dog are we looking at? So it's either a crocodile or an alligator. I don't even know the difference between what? the two. Crocodile or alligator. That's a golden retriever. That is not a golden retriever. What kind of dog is this, <laughs> and why does it look like that? <laughs> this isn't a dog, Justin. This is huh? a gator. What? Yeah. Gatorade? Something like that, yeah. Montgomery gator. I was just thinking that, yeah. But, okay, I actually... 
really, I know there is a difference between a crocodile and an alligator. I just don't know what it is. Is there a difference? I think so. Guys, let us know if you know what the difference is. They're two different animals? Yeah. Huh? And this is one of them? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's an alligator. Let's say it's a crocodile. Okay. Crocodile. Let's see what the answer is. Okay. Now, Montgomery Gator is an alligator because his gator. So, yeah. Okay, that's why Adam picked alligator probably. It was an alligator. Oh, cool. What's the difference? Uh, I don't know. Guys, let us know in the comments if you know the difference. Well, I thought these were one animal, bro. Yeah. Maybe the crocodile is like the brother and the alligator is the saster. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, now it's either a rabbit or a hare. A rabbit or a hare. I That's thought... not a hare. I, no, like a hare is a type of animal. These are all new animals I never saw in the picture books. Right. I'm going to say this That's is a... a rabbit. I'm going to say it's a hare. Yeah, because I think rabbit. rabbits... Rabbits kind of look like Mr. Hops. That doesn't look like Mr. Hops, dude. That's one thick rabbit, though. <laughs> yeah, he's eating a lot of carrots. Dude, is that a rabbit or a hare? Which, what kind is Vanny? A rabbit or a hare? A rabbit. Hey, I'm saying rabbit. All right. Easy, easy. Let's go! Oh, you got it! What's that? So, ba basically, rabbits <laughs> just be super thick? <laughs> I don't know the difference. Let us know also in the comments. Okay, what kind of cat is this? Uh, okay, it's either a leopard or a jaguar. Are these, like, types of cats? These are are kind of they're like wild cats so that's a cheetah so it's neither <laughs> i don't have any idea that's, that's a cheetah what the difference is between a leopard or it's a, a trick question dude that's a that's a cheetah i don't think that's a cheetah what, what do you mean cheetahs look different we just saw a cheetah yeah there are this many animals on the planet yeah i thought there was cats dogs and chocolates <laughs> and cows that's about it yeah what? there's more than that though this is, uh, this is like a big cat i'll say jack I think it's a leopard. All right, let's see. I'm just guessing. I had no idea. If I get it right, though, I knew all along. If okay. I got it wrong, I'm getting hacked. Jaguar. Leopard. Oh, what? Wow, oh, I got it right. What's the difference, bro? And there's a cheetah somewhere? Wow. And tigers? They're all different. And lions? Huh? Okay, now these are just getting ridiculous. Is it a turtle or a tortoise? Those are the same thing, bro. I think the difference between them is the tortoise is a lot bigger. Bigger. So I think this I think is it's a, a tortoise. I think it's a turtle. Because turtles are all cute and they just love eating like grapes. You think it's and a turtle? I think strawberries. It's a, I think it's a tortoise. Do you know if you mm. rearrange the letters in tortoise, it spells toot rise. <laughs> 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 wow, your brain just works in crazy ways. <laughs> All right, let's see what the answer is. It says toot rise. <laughs> see that? Oh, nice. Oh! So that's interesting. A turtle has flippers. Oh, wow. Guys, we don't know if any of these videos are scientifically accurate. We're sorry if they're not. Oh, now we got, is it the fry llama? <laughs> is that llama or what's this al alpaca? Alpaca. What is this, bro? What are these animals? I know a llama. That looks like a llama. Looks like when we go to the petting zoo. Adam, uh, he loves the llamas. Yeah, because look at their necks. It makes me feel like I'm not the only one with a super long neck anymore. I don't think that, is that a llama? Llama? Maybe it's an alpaca. Llamas have like, um, sometimes they have like the funny haircuts. You know what I mean? Yeah, so which one you want to lock in? I'll say this one's an alpaca. I'll say it's a llama. Okay. Adam likes the llamas because it reminds him of his <laughs> mama. <laughs> and, and I don't like drama. Oh, wait, no alpacas have the funny haircuts. Are you kidding? Once again, we have a funny looking dog. <laughs> needs to get a haircut. We what? got a, either a hedgehog or a porcupine. I think I actually know this one. I think I actually know this one. All right, let everyone know what it is. A hedgehog is like sod. Right, they run really fast. Guy, I don't know if he could run really fast. A hedgehog, I know people have hedgehogs as pets. They're like really small. I've seen videos on the internet. I think it's a porcupine. I think I'm gonna go with hedgehog. You think that's Sonic? Yeah, I'll go with hedgehog. I'm gonna go with porcupine. Can I get it? Yeah! win evil talking bin or mommy long legs okay guys we're gonna see a bunch of different battles and we gotta decide who would win this is so crazy bro i feel like 
Mommy Longlegs would win because she's huge. But Evil Talking Ban is very powerful. He would say, <laughs> and just oof everybody. I feel like Mommy Longlegs would probably like pick up Talking Ban, kind of like how she picks up Poppy, and use Spider Web Web on his mouth. Oh, so he can't call. Exactly. I was going to say, dude, because they could call in their friends. Mommy Longlegs would call in Poppy. A uh, Huggy Wuggy, mm -hmm. Hug a Pillar, mm -hmm. Bunzo Bunny. Mm -hmm. But Talking Ben would call in Talking Tom, Talking Angela, Talking Hank, maybe even Talking Poo. Right. And honestly, out of those squads, I think Mommy Longlegs would win. But I don't really know, guys. Who do you think would win? <laughs> I, I also think you're right. If, what's so funny? If Mommy Longlegs webbed his mouth, he wouldn't be able to call his friends. So Mommy Longlegs would win. Right. Okay, guys. Let's see. Who would win? <laughs> What? Uh, and with talking Ben! <laughs> Come on! Oh man, now who will win? Gregory or Ryder from Paw Patrol? Now Gregory's from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Gregory would definitely call in Freddy. Right, but we already know Ryder would definitely call in the Paw Patrol! I gotta go with Ryder, but dude, who would win, dude? All of Paw Patrol or Glamrock Freddy, Chica, Montgomery Gator and Roxanne Wolf. Here's how I think it would go down. I think Gregory and Ryder would be there. They would call in their friends. So Gregory would call in Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica. Yeah. Ryder would call in Chase and Marshall. Yeah. I think Marshall would be able to pull up in his fire truck and blast water on the animatronics and make them short circuit. And short circuit them. And then it would probably get on uh, Gregory's Faz watch and like electrocute him. But what if Gregory and Freddy had the Fazer blaster and blast? Don't blast Paw Patrol! Right, yeah, if Gregory had the Fazer Blaster, he would probably be able to aim it at Ryder and blast him. No, don't. Sky would uh, parachute down and take it from him. And I bet Chica would probably put, like, a uh, Ryder in a hydraulic press and turn it on and smush him. No! Because that's how Chica got ooped in Five Nights at Freddy's. Don't even say that. Mm, this one's tricky. I know Ryder could call in Mayor Holm Dinker. That's true! Oh, it's Ryder. We're gonna lock in Ryder. Let us know who you think it is let's see the answer it's a draw okay that makes sense they're equally matched yeah they're okay. both lit okay <laughs> <laughs> who would win may lee from turning red or poe from kung fu panda all right now obviously they're both pandas but who would win in a fight uh, i mean poe knows kung fu he can fight but Mei Li gets super strong. Right, right, right. I mean, this one's tricky. Would Mei Li call in backup from her mom? She call in the Mei Li mommy. But Poe would probably be able to call in backup from the praying mantis from Kung Fu Panda. And the turtle. And the turtle. I bet the turtle would be able to oof <gasps> Mei Li. This is so crazy. Poe would probably just eat a bunch of food and power up. I I would say Poe, but not because I don't think Maylee's strong. I think Maylee's too nice. She's really nice and kind to everyone. I don't think she would want to fight Poe. I think you're wrong. I think May Lee would probably call in Four Town. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Poe Town. I think May Lee would call in Four Town. They would start singing, you never not by my side. Poe would start dancing, and that's when Mei Li would sneak up from behind and punch him. Oh my goodness. So Poe would be hypnotized by how swaggy they are? Exactly. I'm gonna ask you a serious question. Do you think you're in Fort Town? <laughs> no, I know I'm not in Fort Town. You I've wish asked. you were, though, right? I have asked to be in Fort Town, and they you said wish no. You were. All right, yeah. All right. I, I'm gonna go with Poe. All right, I'll go with Mei Li. All right, let's go. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Would we corrupted SpongeBob or Sonic.exe? Oh man, both of these characters are gross. Oh my goodness. Now I, I immediately think Sonic because he could run so fast, but SpongeBob would go. No! <laughs> that's scary, bro. That is true. This kind of looks like uh, SpongeBob from Friday Night Funkin' when he has like Pibby Glitch all over Pibby him. Pibby Glitch, SpongeBob. Right, but right. Sonic.exe would so probably funny? be able to call in Knuckles and Tails.exe so and oof SpongeBob. But SpongeBob would call in Kurt Patrick and Squidward. And Pibby. And Pibby. <laughs> Pibby, SpongeBob, and Mr. Krabs. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Sandy Cheeks. Right, Sandy Cheeks is really good at karate. Sandy Cheeks. Okay, this one's tricky, guys. This one's tricky. I think Sonic, though, because he's got superpowers. But, 
But SpongeBob has more friends. That's true. That's very he true. He might feed Sonic like a corrupted Pibby Krabby Patty. Right, and instead of Krabby Pibby. Instead of the Krabby Patty buns, it would just be Sonic rings. Oh my goodness. Right, and, and, then, and SpongeBob <laughs> would call him Pibby Plankton. <laughs> right. Pibby Plankton. Right, Pibby Plankton. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know who wins. I think I think we agree. SpongeBob would probably be able to win in this With battle. The corrupt. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. Alright, we're gonna lock in SpongeBob. Let us know who you guys think will win. It's a draw! Wow! Oh my goodness, man. That makes sense. They're very evenly matched. SpongeBob got more friends, but Sonic is a superhero, and yeah. so are his friends. Who would win? Bruno or Chica? And not just Bruno and Chica, Mad Bruno and Hungry Chica. Wow, this one's tricky. Guys, make sure to play along and let us know your answers in the comments, but. This one's very, very this is, tricky. This is impossible, bro. Bruno can see the future. Bro. Right, and he would probably be able to use his green eyes magic ability to see what Chica's gonna do even before she does it. Ah. Right, right, exactly. She's probably gonna eat some Chica pizza. <laughs> I think Bruno got this one because, dude, I know. Chica's hungry, right? What does she eat, bro? She eats the trash. Right. That's what Chica's known for doing? Yeah, of course. What lives in trash? Rat. And look at Bruno, he got the rat buddies. Yeah! So the rat buddies would just jump out the trash and oof, Chica. That is so, so true, guys. That is so lit, like, it's so fire. Here's how I think it would go down. I think- How would it go down? I think Bruno would probably ask Mirabelle to borrow the magic candle. <sighs> then, he would put the magic candle on Chica's chair when she sits down, she's gonna catch fire and explode. She have fire burning. <laughs> exactly. I think she would get magic candle oofed. She would get magic pibby candle oofed. Right. That's how I think it would go down. That's that's tricky though. But she might look at Bruno and say, "You look like a pizza," and oof him. <laughs> Do you uh, think about that? I'm gonna lock in Bruno. I just got a good feeling I'm gonna about lock it. in Bruno too. I think his friends, the rats, would jump out the trash. Surprise, Chica. It is Bruno! Got yeah. it! Oh my goodness, bro. We got Buff Roblox Moon versus Buff Minecraft Steve. <laughs> wow, now both of these guys are obviously super ripped. Yep. Adam actually has a poster of Buff Minecraft Steve in his room, and he looks at it as inspiration when he works out. Right, right, that's true. Yep, that's real. Man, this is hard. I want to say the Roblox noob, but Steve could craft. He could craft a buff sword. Right, that's true. He you could probably it? call on the Ender Dragon yeah. to come and pick up the noob and just eat him. That's what I'm saying, bro. Ooh, mm -hmm. But buff Roblox noob could call him buff bacon. That's true. I bet the Roblox noob would be able to like threaten Mr. Roblox to give him like a billion Robux. He would then take the billion Robux and be like, hey Steve, you want these? Steve would be like, yeah. And then he would punch him as he was reaching for the gift card. I bet that's how it would go down. I think Roblox noob would win. I think I think you might be right, man. Yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna surprise sneak attack him with Robux. Right. He's like, oh hi, Buff Steve. I got you a billion Robux. And then Steve would walk over, and that's when Buff Roblox noob would actually sneak attack. Him. I think you know, but look at Buff Roblox noob. He looks so peaceful. That's true. He's sitting I don't, there. I don't think he would want to fight. I think for that reason. Minecraft Steve actually might win. All right, I'm gonna lock in noob. Justin has Minecraft Steve. Let's see who wins. Oh, it's a draw, bro. That's what we like to see. That makes sense. They will probably just hug it out. Right. <laughs> ah, bro. That's not funny, bro. All right, who would win? Corrupted Peppy Piggy or Sonic Mario? All right, well, this one's tricky. I would say it might. it's probably Pibby Peggy Pip Piggy. Right. Because Peppy is able to call in help from her dad, but... Aunt George. Right, Aunt George. But Sonic Mario has the ability of both Sonic and Mario, so he could run really fast. But also, if he eats like a mushroom, he could like grow really big and just oof everything. Like and he Goombas. would go, yeah! Exactly. Do you think Sonic Mario is like an Amy Peach? <laughs> yeah, and probably. like a Tails Luigi? Right. And like a Dr. Eggman Bowser. I still think it's corrupt P. 
Piggy Piggy Peppy Piggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're, they're eh, le, le, you know what I mean? All over Mario and he can't even see what's going on. And also, they might call in Wario. Mm. Yeah. And Wario mm. gonna sit on Mario. Mm. Yeah. I don't try to do that and attack in real life. <laughs> they learned it from Nintendo Super Smash Bros. Right, okay, let's see. Do the fart attack. I, I think. Don't do Out it. of this one, Peppy Piggy has the upper That's end. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's see. All right, come on. What? We were wrong! Wait, Sonic Mario could beat Peppy Piggy Pibby? Man, that's crazy, bro. I don't know, man. Oh, my goodness, bro. We got Boyfriend versus Bendy from the Ink Machine if he was in Friday Night Funkin'. Wow. Um. Okay, this one's tricky because I feel like uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine would be able to shoot Ink and boyfriend. He's really strong, guys. We play Bendy in the ink machine. It's crazy. Yeah. I think Bendy would just use ink on boyfriend, and then he would be just unable to talk because there's just ink all over him. No. It would power boyfriend up. He would get Pibby glitched. That's true, Rip. guys. I think maybe he would get Pibby glitched and then be able to beat Bendy in the ink machine. <laughs> I'm getting Pibby glitched. <laughs> no, I think his boyfriend because he's fought people way stronger than Bendy. Bendy looks just like a level one character. Boyfriend has beaten Gorefield. He beat Sonic.exe. I think boyfriend is very strong. All right, I, I'm in agreement. Let's go I'm, with boyfriend. I'm in the agreement, dude. No! It was Pibby. What? Or it was Bendy. Are you getting Pibby hacked? Oh! Who would win, Hello Neighbor or My Friendly Neighborhood? Oh boy, this one's tricky. I think it's gotta be Hello Neighbor, man. Look at how angry he looks, man. He got that shovel. He's gonna lock all of them in his basement. That's true. That's so true. That's so not lit, bro. Don't yeah. do that. Don't. Just stop. He would probably lock them in the closet and then just, yeah, not let them out. That's probably what would happen. Although, I don't know too much about My Friendly Neighborhood. Guys, if you do, let us know. It's pretty scary, bro. I think Hello Neighbor would be able to have the upper edge. <sighs> the upper edge, huh? Yeah, I think they'd be able to win. He not only has the upper hand and the edge, he got the upper edge. Right. <laughs> I'm getting Pippi Glick. <laughs> it's not funny. All right, we're going to lock in Hello Neighbor. It was Hello Neighbor. Got yeah. it. Oh, my goodness. Who would win Mecha Monty or Super Sonic? Okay, obviously this is Montgomery Gator from Five Nights at but Freddy's. But if he turned into a Mecha Godzilla legend. Yeah, he's like a yeah Godzilla Kaiju. Or... Super Sonic from the new Sonic movie. I mean, I think it's gotta be Super Sonic, man. Super Sonic is so fast. Like, Mecha Monty wouldn't even be able to laser blast him. Now, here's what I think would happen. All right. Now, obviously, Monty has Monty's Gator Golf. What I think would happen is if they were battling there, Super Sonic would try to run around Monty Gator, but he would probably, as he was running Sonic, he would step in a golf ball hole in the ground and trip and fall, and that's when Mecha Monty would be able to come over to him and blast him with his Mecha Blaster. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're assuming they're gonna fight on the Monty Golf Course. Where do you think they'd fight, Green Hill Zone? Yeah. Yeah, you don't know. That does kind of look like a but golf then, course. But then right. Mecha Monty could camouflage because he's green. That's true. And he could probably throw golf balls at Sonic. So you're saying Super Sonic is going to break his own ankles on a golf course? I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's responses are so nuts. I'm getting Pibby glitched. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna go with Super Sonic. Or, or. Oh, you still going? Okay. <laughs> All right, keep going, dude. I mean, Monty Gator in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. How do you oof him? You throw a bunch of rainbow balls on him, right? That's how you oof him with the balls in the ball pit. I bet Mecha Monty has the ability to just blast um, rainbow balls out. He would use those to blast them all over the ground. Super Sonic wouldn't be able to run in them. That's when Mecha Monty would walk over to him and smush him with his leg. <laughs> I think your brain's getting smushed. <laughs> Who do you think would win? Super Sonic. All right, let's see. Let's go, bro. bro. No! Bro, bro. After all that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
my goodness, who would win Minecraft Sun Moon Boss or Muscle Bob Buff Pants? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh boy, that's, that's what you call yourself. <laughs> After Adam drinks a big glass of milk and does one push-up, he said, look, Mom, I'm Muscle Adam Buff MacArthur. <laughs> uh, muscle Bob Buff Pants. <laughs> I'm going to say Muscle Bob, dude. He does look very strong. He's jacked. However, Minecraft Sun Moon Boss, that also looks very scary. He would probably say, do you want to play? And drop some Minecraft TNT and blow up Muscle Bob Buff Pants. Right, that's very true. That's very true. And Muscle Bob Buff Pants... Even if he's buff, he's still a sponge. That, yeah, right. All punches would probably just get absorbed in his sponge body. <sighs> this one's tricky, guys. I really don't know what would happen in this battle. Okay, here's what I think would happen. <laughs> all right. And, okay, in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Here breach. we go. Yeah, as we all know, you see the Sun Moon boss in the ball pit area at night. Yeah. So when it turns dark, you use your flashlight to see, right? So I think the Sun Moon boss would pick up the flashlight from Five Nights at Freddy's Shine it and SpongeBob until all the water dries out. He would dry out SpongeBob, and that's when he would go over to SpongeBob and punch him. Because if SpongeBob doesn't have any water in him, he turns all hard and he can't really move. That's like the sad scene where SpongeBob and Patrick dry up. Exactly. In the, in the movie. In exactly. The, so we're in agreeing here. Yeah, or he would take Vanny's flashlight and use that to dry out SpongeBob. So I'm going to guess the Minecraft Sun Moon boss would win in this fight. I'm, we are in agreement here. I'm going with Minecraft Sun Moon boss. All right. Yeah! yeah. Got it! Let's go, dude. Big brain. Oh my <laughs> what? What? Is he, what? <laughs> Who would win? Player from Bobby Playtime or Buff Kirby? Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> Buff Kirby does look very strong. It's gotta be Buff Kirby, man. That looks a lot like Justin. It looks like me, guys. Yeah, that is Justin's After body. After I work out, <laughs> I'm just huge, man. But Player does have the grab pack. Who cares, man? Buff Kirby would just sit on him or something. Buff Kirby <gasps> would just breathe him in and get the grab pack ability. You know, because Kirby can, like, breathe people in and take their abilities. That's true. That's so, very true. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's Kirby, bro. Not even close, bro. Adam always plays his Kirby in Super Smash Bros. when he's not playing his Wario. Right. It's really annoying. I always go as Kirby, and I go near the edge, and I go... And I suck up Justin, and I jump off the edge, and then we both ooh. Ah! It's so funny. I win, though, because yeah. I play Donkey Kong. <laughs> I do the thing where I grab him and I put him on my back. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? I think player would be able to call in Kissy Missy. Who what? would actually be able to like be friends with Kirby because they're both pink? That's when he would sneak behind Kirby and smack him with the glad plaque. I don't slack with the glad plaque, Adam. Don't slack with the glad plaque. So I so that's what he was coming with the glad plaque. I'm getting pretty new glad. I think player would win. <laughs> so I'm gonna vote for player. I'm gonna buff Kirby. Buff Kirby! Oh man! Oh my goodness, what is it with the buff characters, bro? Is it Spider-Man or Buff Huggy Wuggy? I don't even think it's close. It's gotta be Buff Huggy Wuggy. Buff Wuggy. I mean, yeah, look at his body. He's so strong. He's been hitting the gym. The only thing I can been think... been hitting the gym. The only thing I can think is if Spider-Man, like, webs Huggy and he's not able to even use his arms because he turns him into, like, a cocoon. What? Like, what if Spider-Man just blasts Huggy with so much webs? that he can't even like get out. <laughs> no. Right. No. He's strong, you just get out of there. Right. <laughs> yeah, Justin has one of those web blasters. Uh, yeah. They're so cool. Yeah, I can do it. I just um, don't want to do it right now. Yeah. Guys, I think it's Buff Huggy Wuggy, dude. All right, why do you think so? Dude, because, man, he's just so buff. That's true. Last name Wuggy, first name Buff. <laughs> Like a sprained ankle. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess Spider-Man. <laughs> what did you just say? It's butt buggy right. Justin is a lot like a sprained ankle because you do not want to play with it. What does that even mean? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna what? guess Spider-Man. I'm gonna guess Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm gonna guess butt huggy wuggy, bro. It's not even close. <laughs> Man. It was Spider-Man. I knew it. This is rigged. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We got thick talky top and thick tails. 
Hey yo! Hey yo! Oh wow! Okay. Hey yo! Oh uh, okay. This is tricky, guys. Because they would both be able to roll towards each other like a bowling ball and just oof each other. Now, Thick Tails could still probably fly and go super fast. Right. Thick Tom, though, has secret potions he might pour on Tails. That's so true. I feel like Talking Tom in the Talking Tom game has that airplane, right? He has the biplane that he can fly around, but he's probably so thick, he can't even fit in it anymore. So he would probably uh, just take the propeller off the airplane and throw it at Tails. Are you sure he would use a glass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like, what did you say? <laughs> Talk to has a mind point, so we take the propeller and throw it at tail. I don't sound like, like that's that. That's what you sound like in my brain. Because you're using baby logic. <laughs> you, need to, you, you need to upgrade your brain. I'm thinking they're so thick that all the, the ladies be, 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 be just around them, you know? Right. So Amy's there and Talking Angela's there. The real question. It's not who would win here. It's who would win Amy or Talking Angela. Right. And that's obviously Talking Angela, no question. She's evil, it's 3 a.m., she's gonna oof everybody. That is so true, guys. See? See? So we agree, it's Talking Tom's gonna win. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Man, it was Tails! <laughs> okay, who would win? Two-headed boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin' or Mecca Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach? Wow, so guys, we're gonna see a bunch of insane battles and we gotta decide who would actually win. I mean, right away, I feel like it would be Freddy because he would be like, you're my superstar. <laughs> and he's, he's probably the size of a building, bro. But two-headed boyfriend could probably... Ooh, ooh, ah. And it would like hypnotize Freddy. Right, exactly. He could have a rap battle with himself. Who do you think would win, dude? Mm, I'm gonna go with two headed boyfriend. You can go with two headed boyfriend? Why? Because I think he just looks really scary. That's not a good reason why would he beat Micah Freddy. Because probably he would be able to like rap battle so loud at the same time that it would just destroy Freddy's circuitry. Yeah, or I got an idea because he would be able to summon two headed girlfriends. Oh, right! And then Mecha Freddy would fall in love. All right, guys, lock in your answers. Okay, I'm gonna say Mecha Freddy because he's huge, guys. Now, the answers were chosen by the plushies. Let's see who wins. Oh, it was Mecha Freddy! Yeah! Okay, now who would win the Squid Game doll or a Castle Master? <laughs> this is tricky, guys. This is really tricky because the Squid Game doll can only attack you if you're playing red light, green light, and you move. And Cassie Bassley probably wouldn't move. Right, but honestly, I would want Kissy Missy to win only because she was so nice in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Yeah, she helps us out in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. It's pretty lit. I would want Cassie Bassley to win. Cassie Bassley and Huggy Wuggy, they chomp people, right? Ah, could they chomp, like, metal? Because the Squid Game dolls made of metal. Mm, probably. I mean, look at Kissy Missy's mouth. Like, the, her teeth are like razor sharp. Her teeth are like a Schrader. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, I, I want Cassie Bassley to win. But who do you think would actually win? I think Cassie Bassley, because I think she'd be good at red light, green light, so she wouldn't even oof. All right, I'm going to guess Squid Game Doll, only because I think the Squid Game Doll would say red light, and then just oof Kissy Missy immediately. Oh, and I forgot Cassie Bassley's kind of like noodly. She might stop walking, but still be like swinging. Exactly. And then get oofed. Okay, 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 let's see who's right. It was the Squid Game doll. No, Cassie Bassey. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Who would win Sonic the EXE or SpongeBob? Mmm, this one's getting tricky. SpongeBob, like he says in this episode, he knows karate. Now, this one's tricky because I think normally I would immediately think Sonic.exe would win, but let's say this battle happened in Bikini Bottom underwater. I bet Sonic.exe can't run that fast you underwater. You can't run fast underwater. And um, I think like Sonic wouldn't be able to hold his breath that long, so SpongeBob would just have to swim away for a little bit until he just oofs. Dude, that's so smart. I, I also also think, man, you gotta factor in all their friends. Like Sonic could call in Tails and Knuckles, uh -huh. but SpongeBob could call in Sandy Cheeks. Right, so it would kind of be like Amy from Sonic versus Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks can fight. That's true. I, 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 
I think it's SpongeBob, but Sonic.exe is scary. He's got oof coming out his eyes. I'm going to stick with SpongeBob. You're going to stick with SpongeBob. <laughs> he might win because he might throw a Krabby Patty at Sonic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I'm going to go with Sonic.exe. How it was SpongeBob. All right. How is it Spongebob, dude? <laughs> 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 now it's Melee versus Knuckles. Who would win? <laughs> mm. Yo, I never realized they kind of look similar. They're both fluffy and they're both kind of red. Yeah, and when Melee gets angry, she does kind of look like Knuckles. When Melee gets angry, he gets really strong, but Knuckles can really punch. <sighs> okay, this one's tricky. Now, the turning red Melee Panda is pretty big. Yeah. Now, Knuckles is smaller, but he's able to punch super, super fast. Yeah. So, I think Melee would probably win. Yeah, and Melee could also sing Four Town. All right. Oh, right! You never not by my side, my side, Knuckles. Ooh, wee, ooh. <sighs> yeah, That's dude. so funny! I bet Melee would be able to beat Knuckles. I bet Knuckles will beat <laughs> Melee! <laughs> Why? Because he's got big knuckles. <laughs> and he's super fast. Yeah, but Mei Li would probably be able to bring in her mom into the battle. That's not fair that Knuckles can bring in Sonic. <laughs> I bet Mei Li's mom could probably uh, oof Sonic. <laughs> I bet um, Amy could um, oof uh, Mei Li. Um, Daisy. <laughs> That's what you sound like. You're being ridiculous. All right, guys. I'm not getting Knuckles. He's strong. I got Mei Li. All right. Yeah, it's Knuckles. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's <laughs> Luisa from Encanto versus the Hulk. Now, they're both super strong. I really don't know. Right. This one's tricky because Luisa can hold like five donkeys on her back. Yeah. But the Hulk can punch a whole building down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, this one's tricky. I bet it's Luisa. Again, you got to think about the friends. Luisa calls in Bruno. Right. She could call in everybody. She could call in all of her friends, and they could all, like, use their powers, right? The Hulk, though, could call in the Avengers. Oh, man. So who do you think would win between the Avengers and Encanto? I think the Avengers <laughs> versus Encanto. It would be Encanto. All right. I'm going to guess the Hulk would win this fight. Because the Hulk eats egg yolks. Right. The Hulk loves eating eggs. Yeah, I would say Luisa would go win. Okay, guys. Let's see who's going to win this battle. It's a tie. Oh, wow. So we both won. That's the first time we've seen a tie. Okay, that makes sense because they're both super strong. <laughs> okay, who will win? The Roblox noob or a Fortnite default? Wow, this one's very tricky. I mean, I have to go with the Roblox noob, but the Fortnite default has a pickaxe. And the Roblox noob has no weapons when he spawns. Mm, that is very, very true. But he has the... Ooh, Power. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm, I think the Fortnite default would probably win only because it could do the default dance right away. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Roblox noob would probably just not even know what to do. But the, but the Roblox noob could do its default dance. Oh, that's true. So which dance is better? You don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know. This one's really tricky. I was, I mean, I feel like Fortnite, there it might be a little bit stronger because they got blasters. I mean, there's blasters in Roblox, but yeah, the default spawns with a pickaxe. So it got a weapon. The Roblox noob spawns only with lit emotes. Right, that's true. But I, I'm gonna go with Roblox anyways because I just love Roblox. Yeah, I bet the Roblox noob would try to give the Fortnite default Robux just to like give up. But then maybe the Fortnite default would try to give V-Bucks to the Roblox new. Robux versus V-Bucks. Mm. I'll go Robux, so that's why I'm choosing Robux. I'm gonna go with the Roblox noob as well. We're both going Roblox noob. Let's go! We got it! Yeah! Oh my goodness, bro. We got the Pony Squad versus the Sus Squad. Okay, so would My Little Pony win or would Among Us win? Man, and all the Sus Squad got Nintendo Switch! <laughs> I mean, the Sus Squad... Mm, 
Mm, it depends. Are they all imposters? No, only one of them probably. Well, the Pony Squad looks all nice and happy here, but I know in uh, Friday Night Funkin', Pinkie Pie and Twilight Sparkle, like the My Little Pony ones, can get really scary. That's what I'm saying. They might get corrupted by Pippi.exe. Exactly, and that would not be cool. I... Man, this is tricky because the imposter is scary when it does that thing with its tongue. Like, ah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't want to mess with that. But I, I'm leaning towards the pony squad. Mm, okay. Okay. But I like the that idea. squad could call an emergency meeting. Right. You know what I mean? That's true. I think the Sus Squad would probably try to lure the My Little Ponies into the vents by using like hay or something that horses like to eat. Hay is for horses. Right. So I bet they would try to oof them in the vents before they even got the chance to call an emergency meeting. Or they could sabotage oxygen and the ponies wouldn't be able to breathe. That's true. Okay, I'm definitely going with the sus squad. I'm gonna go with the pony squad. I believe in them. Okay. It was the pony squad. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is max difficulty. Would Luca win or handsome Squidward? <laughs> wow, this one is a max level round. Sea monster. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're right. Squidward is kind of like a sea monster. Not when he's handsome, Squidward. That's true. Squidward is very handsome. Now, I, of course, love Luca. So I'm leaning towards Luca. However, handsome Squidward is also super lit. Luca might, like, run over Squidward in his Vespa. <gasps> oh, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> I bet what he would do is Luca and Alberto would probably swim into Squidward's house and then take his clarinet and snap it over their sea monster legs. Yeah, and then Squidward would probably be super unhappy. Go! Yeah, dude. But Squidward could use his clarinet. He could play the notes and put them to sleep like he did to Squidward or to SpongeBob and Patrick. Oh, that's very true. I, I feel like I gotta go with handsome Squidward. But, well, Luca has friends, though. Luca has Alberto. He got other friends. Squidward, I guess SpongeBob would help him out. Yeah, I bet SpongeBob would help out Luca because um, Luca has uh, the cat in the movie. And then also SpongeBob has, uh, like, Gary, who's kind of like a cat. So they probably would both <laughs> have, like, cats. And then they would probably team up on Squidward together and oof him. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like gay or read the snake. Exactly. I'm a, yeah, you you convinced me. I was going to say, hey, so squid work. <laughs> but now I changed to Luca. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> That's my thinking face. <laughs> Who are we? Just your age. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> so don't test me. Alright, I'm gonna stick with Luca. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Luca. We are both wrong! Oh man! We should have known better than to doubt handsome Squidward. Okay, who would win? Huggy Wuggy or Sun Boss from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach? This is tricky, guys. It's very hard to say. Well, actually, this might be easier than I thought because Sun Boss doesn't attack people. Only moon drop. Oh, but in Poppy Playtime, you often have to fix the electrical by doing puzzles. And if you're not able to fix it, it might get dark and then moon drop's gonna come out. Yeah, and Huggy Wuggy is friendly usually. Hmm. This one's probably one of the trickiest rounds so far. Hmm, this is really, really tricky, guys. Ah, uh, I don't know, man, because they're both scary. If it was Huggy Wuggy versus moon drop, I would not, I would not know. I think it'd be a draw. Mm -hmm. But some boss, I think some boss is peaceful. He just says, don't make a mess everywhere. You know what I mean? Right. I bet the sun boss would probably hide in the ball pit and wait for Huggy to like get uh, right over him. And then sun boss would probably try to like bite Huggy's leg. <laughs> yeah. Don't. I, I think sun boss would probably win this one. I'm going to say Huggy Wuggy. All right, guys, let's see who's right. It was Huggy Wuggy. Oh, nice. Woo. Oh my goodness, bro. We got Godzilla versus May Lee's mommy. Oh boy. Okay, this one's tricky because they're both like huge they're both monsters. Giant. They're both giant, dude. Hmm. I think, I mean, I would say Godzilla, but then May Lee's mom would say, don't be crass. Yeah, you're right. She would oof him. 
Oh man, I have to go with Mei Li's mom on this I one. I feel like I'm gonna go with Mei Li's mom too because Godzilla in the movie fights King Kong mm -hmm. and King Kong is like Mei Li's mom. How? I don't know, they're both animals. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey. Yeah, exactly. Monkey. Exactly, yeah. I'm gonna go with Mei Li's mom also. I think Mei Li's mom would definitely be able to like pick up Godzilla and then just oof him immediately. I think she got the upper hand. Right. Let's see. Oh! We got it wrong? That makes sense though because I just remember at the last second, Godzilla has like a laser yeah. beam he can blast out of his mouth. Mei Li's mom doesn't have any long range attacks. That's true, yeah. You should have thought about that, bro. Who would win here, Corrupted Pikachu or Mirabelle.exe? Oh, dude, this is one of the craziest rounds in the whole video. Oh, Corrupted Pikachu say Pika! Zap <laughs> you with the EXE, but Mirabelle.exe is so scary looking. Oh, dude. Why is she in Minecraft, dude? Oh, you're right. She hacked her way into Minecraft. Because she's Mirabelle.exe, she can hack herself into any game. Uh, uh, well, I feel like I have to go with Pikachu because Mirabelle doesn't have abilities, but maybe corrupted Mirabelle.exe does. I bet Mirabelle.exe was able to hack in Kanto, so she gave herself every power in the movie. So she could um, shape shift into anyone, uh, she could like see the future like Bruno, and she's super strong like Louisa. But. Corrupted Pikachu might also have all the powers of all the Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Mirabelle then. You you convince me. All right, I'm gonna stick with Corrupted Pikachu. If you're wrong, you're in big trouble. Okay. All right, let's see. Wait, you're gonna go with Pikachu? You said it's Mirabelle. No, but I think Pikachu might have hacked himself so that he has like the power of every Pokemon in the Pokedex, including Nurse Joy. Pokey nerd. <laughs> okay, let's see who wins. It was Pikachu. Got it. You tracked me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't decide who will win. Buff talking dang or Paw Patrol. Nah, man. Nah. Okay, now right, I guess right. it's the entire Paw Patrol, right? Right. right. Yeah. So it's right. it's Chase, Ryder, Sky, it's all the of them. It's doggy dog world. <laughs> 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 what is wrong with you? <laughs> Guys, Justin literally does this when he watches Paw Patrol. Because he, <laughs> he wants to be one of the dogs. <laughs> I'm one of the dogs. <laughs> if you guys have dogs, put them in front of the TV right now. I can talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just tell all the dogs watching? <laughs> I told you to go to <laughs> I will go. I gotta go with Paw Patrol. I obviously gotta pick Paw Patrol. Burn. I'll Burn. go with Talking Ben. I mean, if it was normal Ben, it will be no question. Paw Patrol, yeet on him. Yeah, but Buff, Buff Talking Ben. Buff Talking Ben. He's man. been eating a lot of beans. He's been going to the gym. He tried to impress Talking Angela. Right. I'm going to go with Paw Patrol. Oh my goodness. Got it. No. <laughs> okay, who will win? A million donuts or Foxy? I mean, I've seen Foxy eat way more than a million donuts. Foxy says a million donuts is nothing. I win. Foxy's gotta win, bro. Yeah, that's true. It's the easiest round ever, bro. But I heard the next round is a max level secret hacker EXE level that you don't want to mess up. All right, let's see it. All right. Oh, it was Foxy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, who would win? Baby Justin or Baby Adam? That's not fair, dude. 
I mean, I feel like you're gonna win because you have a blade in your hand. Yeah, but you win because you wear two dice. <laughs> you got double dice power. And I could run you over in my, like, car thing behind me. Don't, in the lawnmower? Yeah, I think I would probably be able to win because I would be able to just crawl over to Justin and just yeet him. Don't yeet, don't crawl over or yeet me. Yeah, I would take one of the extra diapers and just put it on his head. Ew! <laughs> I would take you, your head, and put it in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I put you in the potty first. What? Yeah. You live, because you're always on it. Well, you I... be on it. Okay, I think this is going to be one of the craziest rounds of I all time. I think you lose, because I'll just wait till you go on the potty, and I can oof you. No, I you would try to flush. You don't know where I'd be. Yeah, yeah. I would try to, yeah. if, if we were both in Who's Your Daddy, the game, I would probably try to ride on the dog and just ride up to Justin and then just run him over with the dog. Okay. Yeah. Except I'll be able to talk to the dog. <laughs> yeah. I told him, turn on aid. Uh, okay, guys, lock in your answer. Let's see who wins. Oh, it's a tie. Now, who would win between Paw Patrol and Talking Tom's team? Oh, man, guys, play along. See if you agree with who we pick. You already know I got to go with Paw Patrol, bro. Mm, I don't know. I mean, what if Talking Tom's team, like, ate a bunch of food and got a bunch of energy, and then they could just oof all of Paw Patrol? No, don't oof Paw Patrol. <laughs> I love Paw Patrol. I feel like Paw Patrol win because look, they outnumber Talking Tom. Although Talking Tom's team does have superpowers, so it would be close. But I would say Paw Patrol because they have more members. Okay, I'm gonna lock in Talking Tom's team. How dare you, Adam? Okay, let's see who would win. Let's go. It'd be a draw? No way! They're evenly matched. Okay, now who would win? Evil Talking Ben or Bruno? <laughs> I actually don't know. This is really tricky because Evil Talking Ben would be like, bang, 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 ha, ha, ha. No, yes. But Bruno can see into the future. Oh, right. Bruno will be able to look into the future and know what Ben's going to attack him with. Oh, yeah. So I feel like for that reason, Bruno would win. Although Evil Talking Ben would probably make a bunch of like evil potions that would like, you know how he can make a potion that like makes an explosion? He might like make that potion and then throw it at Bruno. Oh, you're right now. Obviously, we don't talk about Bruno, but what yep. does Talking Ben love to do? Dude, he likes to talk, bro. And I bet Talking Ben would talk all about Bruno. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I, I, I would say it's Bruno. It's got, it's got to be Bruno because Bruno could see the future and Talking Ben talks about Bruno. I'm locking in Bruno as well. Let's lock in Bruno. Everyone play along at home. Lock in your guess who would win. It was Bruno. Cool. Okay, now who would win? Corrupted Sonic.exe or Evil Boss, baby? Oh, man. This one's tricky, guys. Bro, I feel like Sonic has super speed, so he should win. But Evil Boss Baby could be like, <laughs> you're fired, and then fire him. That's true. I feel like the Boss Baby would call Sonic a boomer. 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 Bro, Evil Boss Baby called him a boomer. <laughs> You're being a bo bo boomer right now, Adam. Wow, this is tricky, guys. This is very tricky. Yeah, Evil Boss Baby would come in with the okay boomer. And then, <laughs> oof, Sonic. I feel like Evil Boss Baby, even though he does look really scary. Oh, look at his teeth. I feel like he doesn't really have any abilities. Whereas Corrupted Sonic, first of all, he's corrupted. And second, he could run really fast. So I'm going to go with Sonic. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick with my gut and, and go with Evil Boss Baby. Okay, I'm going to go Sonic. Adam's going to go Boss Baby. Who's going to win? It is Sonic. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now who would win? Dr. Eggman or Luisa? Oh, man. Now, Bruh. this one, this is evenly matched. Th this is a really close battle because they're both really strong. And Dr. Eggman, he has a bunch of robots that work for him, but Luisa has super strength. Right. That's true. That's true. Now, I think Luisa would be able to punch all of Dr. Eggman's robots. Bro, she could pick up boulders and smash all the robots. That's true. Right. I mean, she literally carries donkeys for fun. Bruh, 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 <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. But Dr. Eggman, he's so strong, he could almost take down Sonic. So I'm going to go with Dr. Eggman. I think he could win. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Louisa. Okay, let's see who wins. Oh, it was Louisa! Yeah! <laughs> ah. Okay, now who would win? Montgomery Gator or Vanny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think probably Vanny. She's so scary. Yeah, dude. I mean, Vanny, I think she would shine her flashlight right into the eyes of Montgomery Gator and blind him. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> Vanny, Vanny would probably call Vanny's granny. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, okay, wait. Vanny, what is her weapon? It's like a blade, right? She's got like a blade. Right, she like skips around and then uh, slices people. Oh, what is Montgomery Gator's attack? Uh, I think he, like, uh, chomps people. Who would win, Blade or Chomp? I'm probably gonna say Chomp. I'm gonna say the Blade. I feel like Vanny's got this one, bro. All right, let's find out, guys. I'm gonna lock in Monty Gator. I'm gonna lock in Vanny. It was Montgomery Gator. Nah! Cool! Okay, now who's gonna win here? Gru, who's looking absolutely swagged out, <laughs> or the Minions? Oh, man. Now, this is tricky because there's a lot of Minions, and the Minions are, like, indestructible. They are? Yeah, they, like, don't take uh, any, like, damage or anything. Banana, banana. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, I, I count money. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I would say the, probably the minions will win if they're indestructible, you know what I mean? That's bruh, true, bruh, 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 bruh. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, 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 bruh. I would go with the minions. They're really indestructible. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to go ahead and go with Gru because I know in the new The Rise of Gru movie, yeah. the Minions movie, yeah. he had yeah. like a blaster with a sticky hand on it to grab stuff, and I bet oh. he, could, he could use that against the Minions. Oh, man, but there's too many Minions. He wouldn't be able to get them all. I'm going to go with the Minions. I'm going to go with Gru. Let's see who would win. It is the Minions. Yeah. Oh, man, who would win, Miraculous Ladybug or Cat Noir? Now, obviously, they're best friends in the show. They would never turn against each other. But hypothetically, <laughs> if they did, who would win? Here's what I think would go down. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready, bro. I think Miraculous Ladybug would take out her yo-yo and try to tie up Cat Noir with it. No. Oh. But, but, I... <laughs> I think Cat Noir would take out his cat claws and slice the string on the yo-yo. Bruh. And bruh, then he would bruh. be able to slice Miraculous Ladybug and oof her. Don't. No, no. Miraculous Ladybug never get oofed. How dare you say that, Adam? I don't know. That's what I think would happen. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in Cat Noir. That's so crazy to me. Especially knowing that Adam has a little crush on Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> That's crazy you would say that, bro. I don't have a crush yeah, yeah, on you everyone. Do. Yeah, you do, bro. And no. that's crazy you would say that. I feel like Ladybug would win, bro. Because Ladybug, it's just, she got so much swag. You know what I mean? And they took down Hawk Moth. So I bet she would take down Cat Noir. But they're friends. They would never fight each other. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm still going to stick with Cat Noir. All right, I'm going to go with Ladybug. Let's see who would win. It's a draw. They're perfectly evenly matched. Awesome. Okay, now who's going to win? May Lee from Turning Red or Luca? <laughs> I actually don't know why Luca looked like that, bro. He looks kind of bored. Here's what I think would happen. Yeah. I think Luca would ask May Lee to go to the Four Town concert on his Vespa. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? But then, while he's driving her, he would push her off his Vespa and oof her. Why would he do that? <laughs> He'll probably say, you want some spaghetti? <laughs> Are you ready for the spaghetti? <laughs> and then May Lee will oof him. I, you know, I feel like it'd be May Lee, because she's huge. Well, I... Uh, I feel like she's a lot larger than Luca. I, it's really hard to say because if they're fighting on land, you know what I mean? <laughs> May Lee's gonna win, you know what I mean? But if they're fighting underwater, I think Luca would come in on the rah, 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 Vespa. <laughs> in the rah, re, Vespa. And he would, oh, <laughs> May Lee. Right, drive, because he probably he would drive the Vespa off a cliff into water, and Melee wouldn't be able to swim. Yeah, and he would become a sea monster. Sea monster! <laughs> I would say it's Melee, bro. I give the upper hand to Melee. I'm locking in Luca. Adam's locking in Luca. Let's see who wins. <laughs> it's a 
another draw. They're perfectly evenly matched, bruh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Who would win between Mario.exe and the Squid Game doll? Red light, green light, you know what I mean? Dude, wait a minute. What are the colors of Mario and Luigi? Bro, red and green. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> she, the, the Squid Game doll would be able to tell Mario and Luigi apart. <laughs> wait a minute. And Luigi's green light. So Luigi will probably be friends with the Squid Game doll. You know what I mean? But oh. Mario is red. And she will say, red light. And then she will, oof, Mario. Wow, I bet the Squid Game doll would try to sweeten up Mario with some honeycomb candy. But what? he he would use a, a, a fire flower on her and melt what? the honeycomb. What? <laughs> 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 Yeah. What, if Mario, what if Mario eats uh, like a golden star though and he goes dun, 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 <laughs> and he can't get oofed on Rainbow what? Road. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I'm sticking with Bruh. Squid Game Doll, dude. Bruh. Yeet. Bruh. I'm going to go also with Squid Game Doll because I don't think Mario.exe could eat stars. And I really think we're onto something with red light, green light. He's red light, bro. All right, let's see it. It won Squid Game Doll. We got that right. Cool. Oh, man. Who would win Sun Boss versus Moon Boss? I already feel like there's going to be a draw because they're the same person. You know what I mean? I like that guess a lot. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and straight away lock and draw. But think about this though. Sun Boss is really nice. He's just like, you made a mess. He's not angry. Moon Boss wants to oof people. So I might give the upper hand to Moon Boss. Ooh, but I bet the Sun Boss would just turn back on the lights and then oof Moon Boss. Bruh, bruh, yeah. Bruh, so bruh. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my gut and go with a draw. I'm gonna 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 go with the moon boss, bro. I'm gonna go with the moon boss. Okay. It was the draw. You were right. Nice. So, man, who would win, corrupted Pico or corrupted boyfriend? Oh, dude, this is so tough. This is so scary, bro. Now here's what I think would happen. Okay. I think Pico would try to steal girlfriend from boyfriend. Oh yeah? And and, and he would try to break corrupted boyfriend's heart and then when he's crying and, and about to give up, that's when Pico would come in and, and throw his microphone at boyfriend and oof him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like boyfriend would win because he could call a girlfriend and daddy and mommy and they would oof Pico. Oh, you're right. I forgot about the whole family. Yeah, he would call in daddy dearest who would oof Pico. I'm going to go with boyfriend, bro. I'll stick with Pico. That was boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who would win? PJ Pugapillar or Amanda the Adventurer? Oh, dude, this is so tricky, but I have a guess. Yeah, what? It hit me, dude. I think Amanda the Adventurer would, would win because she yeah. would call in the meat man and turn yeah. PJ Pugapillar into meat. And turn it into PJ Meat to Miller. Exactly, dude. The meat man would chop up PJ Pugapillar. Turn him into Meat J Meat a Pillar. Yeah, and she could even call in Wooly. Dude, I, I, I knew right away it'd be a man of the adventure because PJ Pugapillar almost kind of looks like Wooly. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. They they look identical. So she be she be chopping them up, you know, chop it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> she can chop him up, turn him into some Pugapillar meat. Oh. Oh, no, Bro, dude. what do you think Pugapillar meat tastes like? Probably chicken. What? Yeah. It tastes like some chill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're both in agreement. It's got to be a man of the adventure. Lock in your guesses at home. It's a draw? Are you serious? No way. I mean, I guess that makes sense. PJ Pugapillar is like 900 feet tall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who would win Karate Sandy Cheeks or Bunzo Bunny? Now, guys, this is tricky. Sandy from SpongeBob is super tough and really good at fighting, but Bunzo Bunny is also very scary. I think Bunzo Bunny will win because Bunzo Bunny will put Sandy in his tummy. You know what I mean? In the Bunzo Bunny tummy. You know what I mean? You're right, dude. You're right. Man, that's tricky. I think Bunzo Bunny will come in with the samples <laughs> and he will throw them and it will hit Sandy um, in the head. You know what I mean? Right. I bet he would use his symbols to clap like her, her head or something and squish <laughs> her like a pancake. <laughs> 
Alright, so I'm gonna lock in Bunzo Bunny. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Bunzo Bunny and just cause he got that swag. Look at him, bro. <laughs> And Bunzo, if he gets in trouble, he could call Mommy Long Legs. Right, exactly. But Sandy could call him Squidward. <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and Gary. Squid then Gary. Meow. And then Squidward could play his clarinet and put Bunzo Bunny to sleep. Exactly. And then Gary would cover Bunzo Bunny with a bunch of snail jelly DNA. Oh! So slimy. It's slime on him. Exactly, dude. Oh, man. I'm still gonna stick with Bunzo Bunny, though. Alright, me too. Alright. Man, let's go. It was Bunzo Bunny. Cool. Who would win? Shadow or Thor? This is impossible, bro. Okay, guys. Now, this is very tricky because Shadow is super tough, but Thor has Thor's hammer. I think it's... I think it's gotta be Shadow, though, man. He's got super speed. So he can just run really fast around Thor. Thor can never catch him. That's true, but... Thor would probably be able to call in all the other Avengers, like uh, Captain America and the Black Widow. Bro, but Shadow could call in Sonic and Amy, and Adam has actually a crush. <laughs> Adam has a crush on Amy. So, I'm gonna go with Shadow. I don't have a crush on Amy from Sonic. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you do. I don't. Yes, he does. He's told me, guys, it was Adam's secret. I'm leaking it, okay? Now, I think it's gotta be Shadow. He can also call in Big Cat, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna lock in Thor because I think Thor would just ask Thanos to snap and Thanos would snap and just remove the Infinity Stones from Sonic. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go with Shadow. Let's see who wins. <laughs> no! It was Thor. Oh my goodness. Who would win? Tails or Marshall? <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. I can't pick, dude. I can't pick. Guys, play along. See if you agree with what we are saying. I can't pick. I, it, make sure you guys are playing along and everyone agrees with what we are saying. Because this is high level, guys. I would say it's Marshall. It's got to be Marshall. Mm, okay, what do you think Marshall would do to Tails to oof him? He'd probably uh, squirt a bunch of water on him. <laughs> Right, he would use his firefighter hose to hose down tail. <laughs> Dude. As I just said. <laughs> he just said it in a different way. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm going to lock in Marshall as well. Yeah, we got to go with Marshalls, bro. No way Tails is winning. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. Who can win thick Tom or thick Jerry? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't know about think, this. Think long and hard about your answers for this. This is very <laughs> I gotta go with Thick Jerry, bro. Look at Thick Jerry. Thick Jerry's like happy he's thick. Thick Tom looks like he's down bad. You know what I mean? What's so funny? What like what is funny right here, bro? What's funny? Like Guys. I've been looking like Thick Jerry. Adam looks like Thick Tom. Guys, if any of you are watching this video right now, you guys are amazing. Obviously, dude. We got yeah. the coolest viewers ever. Now, I think Thick Tom would actually be able to win. Thick Tom is what Adam looks like after a gallon of milk. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with Thick Jerry, dude. Because in Tom and Jerry, Jerry always wins. Right, but I'm gonna stick with my gut and go with Thick Tom. Alright, let's see who wins. No! Go on it! I get it. Because Thick Tom probably got all thick by eating Jerry. Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Who will win? Wario or Sonic? Okay. Now, I, I have a hunch what Justin's going to say here. My hunch is that it would probably be Sonic would win. You don't think Wario would win? No, I, I think Adam will choose Wario, though. Because he, <laughs> he and Wario are very similar. <laughs> I think Wario would be able to use his Wario yep. motorbike and yep. run over Sonic. If Adam was Wario, who he, he looks up to, he would use Wario's fart attack. Because <laughs> I'm like Sonic. I run super fast. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, I win. I win against Adam. So I'm like Sonic. Adam's like Wario. All right. I'll lock in Wario. It was Sonic. Let's go. Today we are seeing if Justin can solve these five crazy riddles. Okay, stole cookies. Oh, I better be able to solve this. One day, John, a father of four, went for a walk in the evening. 
but he wasn't out to get some fresh air. He was planning to snack on some peanut butter cookies. <laughs> he couldn't do it at home since his wife has a really bad peanut allergy and his kids were grounded and not supposed to eat sweets for a week. Okay, so it's already flying by, guys. Make sure you're playing along at home. See if you can beat me and get more riddles. Now, this guy, he wants to eat some peanut butter cookies, but he can't do it at home because his wife has an allergy and his kids were grounded and they're not supposed to have cookies. Okay, I'm following. When John opened the bag, it was empty. What? Oh, he had no cookies? He invited out all the kids to the living room and asked who to eat the cookies. <laughs> all right, so which of these kids do you think ate them? Wait, he's got... He's gonna interrogate his own kids. Right. <laughs> Christopher had been playing with his toy train. A likely story. <laughs> you think it's Christopher? <laughs> <laughs> Was it Thomas the Tank Engine? Roberto had been helping his mom bake a pie in the kitchen. Hmm. Okay, Robert. All right, Robert. <laughs> Sounds believable. Lisa had been helping mom to make peanut butter fudge. Was it you, Lisa? Might be. I don't know. Uh, David has been upstairs doing his homework. Yeah, yeah, right, David. David looking a little sus. A little goody goody two shoes. I was doing homework. Oh, really? Uh, right oh, now. Really? What's the quadratic equation? <laughs> <laughs> now, guys. We are going to try to go through five different riddles. They're gonna get harder and harder. We're gonna see how many Justin can actually beat. Okay, it says good old dad instantly knew who the cookie thief was. So we gotta figure out which one of them ate the cookies. Right. Bro, now this is a tricky one, man. I'm, let me start left to right. David had been upstairs doing his homework. Now I noticed right away, David is the tallest kid. Ah, maybe he got that way by eating so many cookies. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm taller than Adam. Because <laughs> I be eating, I eat more calories. This is real height. Usually when we film, I'm squatting. Right. Like, I'm squatting. I'm yeah. trying to look low, you know what I mean? Right. This is me sitting upright. Yeah, he wouldn't even be on the camera, guys. That's that's me, this is me sitting. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, really tall. That's because I eat more, guys. If you eat more, you grow big. All right? Now, so I'm thinking it might be David. Maybe. Now, Christopher... I've been playing with his toy train. Uh, uh, choo choo! Uh, woo woo! Uh, mm. Really, Christopher? That's it? I don't know. I don't know about that, man. Something about toy train sounds a little bit sus. But it, okay, I'll let it slide. Lisa had been helping mom make peanut butter fudge. Now, I knew right away! I think it's Lisa or Robert. Okay. Lisa or Robert. Now, Why? Listen, listen, guys, listen. We got two clues earlier. One was that the mommy was allergic to peanut butter. Right, yeah. The guy at the start, the dad, had to go outside and eat the peanut butter cookies because he couldn't eat them around his wife. Because she can't, she can't be, she can't have it. Right. Can't have the peanut. Okay, so why would they be making peanut butter fudge? Oh, you think she lying? Oh, uh, why are you lying? Yeah, that's a, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> Somebody call her Simba because she lying. <laughs> think about this, right? They're making peanut butter fudge. A doogie. <laughs> Why? Who's gonna eat it? But the second clue we got was none of the kids are allowed to have sweets. Right. So Robert, you helping your mom bake a pie? That's also so. Hey, we already know one of them's lying because she can't bake a pie and peanut butter doogie at the same time. That's true. She can't do two things at the same time. So one of them's lying, but they're both lying because they can't have sweets. So how are you gonna bake a pie? Who's gonna eat it? Yeah, pies are normally sweet. It might have been a salty pie. Yeah. Or maybe Robert like got called like a cutie pie by his mom or something. But I don't know, guys. See if you can solve this riddle. I think it's Lisa. All right, you wanna lock in Lisa? It's Lisa, because mom's not allowed to have peanuts. All right, let's lock it in. Let's go. Is it Lisa? Is it Lisa? I know it was you, Lisa. I know it was you. Here we go. Now, guys, Justin has five total riddles. If he's able to solve the majority of them, he's going to get a prize at the end. So let's see what the answer is. All right, bro. Come on. Please. Please tell me it's Lisa. Let's go. Lisa ate the cookies. John's wife is extremely allergic to peanut butter. Oh, wow. So Justin got the first one right. Let's check out the next riddle right now. Okay, now Alex and Jessica called the police. Why? What happened? Uh-oh. Hello? Emergency! Hey, why did they call the police? Their daughter ran away from home. 
Uh oh. Never run away from home ever, guys. It's dangerous. Don't. It's super dangerous. Don't do it. Just talk out your problems. When a police officer came to their house, they found a short farewell letter. She wrote a letter and then ran? Wow. This is getting spooky. Left on the table. Okay? Maybe the letter has a clue in it. Good thinking. In this letter, she said... Okay, can't read that. A little bit blurry. That's it? What? In the letter, she said that she was leaving oh, her house. Oh, okay. It's still going. Oh, okay. She was leving her house. Why didn't they un unblur it? And never coming back. Hmm. Alex and Jessica confirmed that it was their daughter's writing. Okay, so the daughter did write the letter. The text looked weird. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It look is looking weird. <laughs> Had enough leaving parents. My eyes... Bry looking eagerly at sudden escape. Had enough leaving parents. Hmm. What is going on? The parents said the girl was good at writing. Yeah, well, apparently not. She fooled you and couldn't make such mistakes. Guys, there's something weird about this note. Had enough leaving parents. That kind of makes sense. My eyes pray looking eagerly at sudden escape. That doesn't make any sense, bro. Right, so these, yeah, the sentence doesn't really make much sense. So they're wondering why it's so messed up. The officer read the note and realized that the girl, the girl was kidnapped. She was taken by bad people. Why? Wait, how did he realize that, bro? Hey, yo, uh -oh. chill. Stop. How did he know? Okay, so I got to figure, I got to decode, decipher. Okay, now as we said, the riddles are going to get harder and harder. This one's pretty tricky. Now, Justin, can you solve this riddle? So here's the note that the daughter yeah, left. Yeah, I can get it because I'm, I'm a real detective. Think you got it? Yeah. Now, had enough leaving parents. I mean, that makes sense. She left. Mm -hmm. Do you think that first part has no clues or anything in it? Probably not. Okay, so maybe the second sentence has some stuff to look at. My eyes pray looking eagerly at sudden escape. Maybe if you read it backwards? Because, like, the bad people wouldn't be able to tell if she left a code in there if you it was, like, a backwards thing. So I, I gotta read it in reverse, and then, Fox, you gotta rewind the footage? You could try. If <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's reverse that footage and see if we hear anything. Foxy says it didn't work. Come on! Okay, hold on. This is so confusing, dude, because she wrote this as a runaway note, but she actually got taken. Right. Maybe the, the letters are jumbled. That's what I was thinking. So, had enough leaving parents. That makes sense. That means she just left. My eyes. My yes. Yes. If you just get rid of the E, it says yes. Okay. My, my yes. Ray. My yes, Ray. She got a yes, Ray. Wow. Slow down. She got a yes, Ray. That's why she got taken. She invented She can yes, make Ray. anyone say yeah. yes by using a Ray blaster. I have one of those, guys. I, so I have one of those classified. The g g g <laughs> <laughs> well, let me talk about it. I have a yes, Ray. And I point at Adam's mommy. <laughs> And if I want something, I point at her. I said, Give me the Nintendo Switch! And then I blast her with the yes, right? <laughs> and then she said, Yes. Guys, I'm getting a Nintendo Switch. So you'll see. I'm getting it. She said she just needed to go to the arts and crafts store to go pick it up for me. What? I don't know. She got some construction paper and she said she'd <laughs> get it for me. But I'm excited. It's on its way. So she had my yes, Ray, looking ready. <laughs> That's what I think the note was. So she said her yes ray, which is very valuable, <laughs> super rare. Her she had a yes ray. If you cross out the e, her yes ray was looking good, and that's why she got taken. Ah! Oh. Uh, you want to lock in that answer? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes. All right, I let's see what the answer actually is. All right, how did he know, man? Easy, dude. This is easy. Now, guys, Justin is a genius. So let's see if he was able to solve this one. A huge brain. It's not even funny. It's not even close, man. Will he get the prize at the end of the video? Had enough leaving parents. Read the first letter of each word. H E L P. Help! Oh! oh. Uh, M E P. What's MEP? <laughs> I think it says, help me. <laughs> help me, please. So if you take the first letter of each word, it spells out, help me, please. Go forward a little bit, it'll show you. Dude, I was actually close. Wow. I was actually close, Ed, because I was talking about getting rid of the first letter. Wow. So I was just thinking in reverse. Yeah, exactly. So I got that one right? No. Nope. <laughs> ah! 
Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. He's a bad guy in a mask. This guy is at an ATM. He's getting some money. All right. Next riddle. The son of a millionaire. Oh, bunk. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, he got knocked out. Wow. Wait, so that guy was the son of a millionaire? Yeah. He going to the hospital. Okay, good. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is terrible. Is he oofed? Your son was attacked. Could you come to the hospital? So the police is calling the son's daddy. Oh, maybe. Or multiple people. Or his parents. Yeah. No, because this guy's a millionaire, remember? Yeah. I haven't spoken to my children for seven years. So this is the guy's dad, apparently. This is the millionaire. Yeah. Right? Right. Why right. you talked to him for seven years? That's a long time. Your brother was attacked. Oh, so he's calling multiple of the guy's family members. Oh, could you come to the hospital? Okay. This is the guy's brother. We haven't spoken for seven years. Wow. What happened seven years ago, guys? Oh, he's going to call one more person. His mommy. Your brother's in the hospital. He got another brother. Oh, he got a sister. We haven't spoken for several years, but I will come. Mm. Okay, so she's going to help. That's messed up. No one wants to help him? She brought flowers and said, get well. Okay, this... Okay. Okay, so all three of the family members showed up at the hospital with okay. gifts for the person that got attacked. Okay, did you spot the clue? What clue? Okay, so <laughs> one of these people attacked the brother. What? Okay, let's see. One of these people was behind the attack. How, how, am, I, how am I supposed to know? This is a really, really hard riddle, guys. So you probably don't already know the answer. You and Justin are going to try to solve this together. I mean, immediately based on my high intellect memory, because I have a lot of memory. The guy who attacked him was, it looked like this guy, right? It wasn't his daddy. His daddy didn't bonk him over the head. It's not her. It was a guy. Mm, I don't know. It could be any of them. What? How, what? How? Do you remember the guy in the mask? It was a guy. Obviously, the dude attacking, is, is that's not his daddy and it's not his sister. Maybe the dad shaved his beard. What? He? You think he grew out his beard? I don't know. I don't think it has to do with the look of the attack. Because maybe the attacker hired that person to attack him. Okay, that's a good point, Aiden. That's a good point. Now, do I spot the clue? I mean, I think it's this guy. Now, I noticed something a little weird. Okay. So, the cards on the gifts. Yeah, it says, get well. It says, get well, Samuel. It says, get well, Samuel. What is the clue of they haven't talked for seven years? What does that mean, man? Hmm, maybe there's something there. Like, I've been, I was in a test tube for seven years. That's true. So, now I noticed the dad, look at his stance, bro. It looked like he'd be holding a baseball bat. Right, he does look kind of angry. He looked like he about to go swing. Mm. But I also see a small other clue. What? Look at this guy's hand. Why is it like bruised? You see that? See? It's like a different color. I see that a little bit, yeah. Maybe when he had the baseball bat and he bonked him, it like hit his hand. Hmm. Let's, let's go through the three people again and really like watch what they say. This is really difficult, guys. I actually don't know. Okay, let's watch this part one more time, guys. I got to pick up on the clue. Come on, Detective Foxy, help me out. She says, I'm helping. All right, so he's in the hospital. All right, all right. He's passed out, bro. Your son was attacked. Could you come to the hospital? Okay, this is the day. All right, the day. I haven't spoken to any of my children for seven years. Okay, why? Why Why would he not talk to them for seven years? Hmm. Okay. Then yeah. they hung up. Now he's calling the brother. Your brother was attacked. Could you come to the hospital? What is he saying? We haven't spoken to each other for seven years. Are you trying to mess with me? This is not helping, bro. Your brother's in the hospital. Could you come? It's his sister. It's a sister. We haven't spoken to each other for several years, but I will come. Okay, there's no clues. You're trying to mess with me. So, guys, this is probably one of the hardest riddles that we've ever had on Lanky Box. This is really tricky. I think you're trying to mess with me, dude. Why would you do that? Do you want a little Why hint? Why would you do that? Do you want a little hint? No. Mm. All right, all right, all right. All I'm right. gonna figure this out because I'm a detective. No hints for Justin. Guys, I don't know, but I'm gonna say what does the millionaire have to do with it also? The son of a millionaire. That's the deity. He's a millionaire. It's either the deity or it's him. It's not her. It's not her. It's not her. It's okay. not her. It's not her. All right. It's not her because either the deity is the millionaire and he spent money to oof his own son. Why how would he do that? Or is this guy? Because his hand is looking sus and he would be the one who attacked him. Well, why do you think that the cards on the present say, get well, Samuel, get well, Samuel, and then get well? I don't know. They just wrote different cards. You think it's her because she didn't say Samuel? I didn't say that, but maybe there's some uh, clues in the card. 
You're messing with me! You wanna give up? I'm not giving up. It's either the deity or... Si I think it's this guy. I'm locking this guy. I don't know, guys. Let, let us know at home in the comments what your guess is. I have no idea. I think it's this guy. It's gotta be, man. Look, his hand is all bruised up. I'm locking him. All right, Justin's locking in the middle guy. Lock it in. Did I spot the clue? Yes, I did. It's the hand. Look, the hand is, is weird, man. It's a different color. Now, this it's is like probably red. one of the most high IQ riddles of all time. His hand is red. I think that came from bonking his own brother over the head, like I'm about to do. Bonk? <laughs> all right, let's see. He wasn't told which son was in the hospital. What? Wow, so he wrote on the card, get well, Samuel, but he was never told that Samuel was in the hospital. Dude! But like the other kids, like they knew they only had one brother. So when they were like, hey, your brother's in the hospital, they knew it was Samuel. Same with the daughter. But the dad didn't talk to any of his kids. And so when they said, hey, your son's in the hospital, they never said which one. Dude, that is the highest IQ puzzle we've ever looked at on Lanky Box. That makes no sense, bro. Wow, there's actually smoke coming from Justin's brain. My brain's overheated. <laughs> Okay, now this one is says it started pouring, so it's raining. A bus went into a tunnel, okay? Hmm. Okay, a bus. The wheels on the bus, okay. It was crazy dark in there. Oh, yeah, you're in a tunnel, so there's no light. Wow, probably can't see. It's kind of scary. Somebody stole my wallet. Oh, I had some serious cash in there. Okay, the, there were only three other people on the bus, okay? So it's one of these three people stole it. Hmm. Okay, this is getting sus, bro. The girl says she was listening to music. She didn't hear anything happen. Okay, that's fair. The old lady says she was napping grandma style. Okay, the guy said he was watching the road. It was so slippery out there. I used my remarkable powers of deduction and found out who stole my wallet. Who was it? Okay, once again, I'm stumped. What? Okay, so there was a bus driving through a tunnel. It's super, super dark. When it was like the pitch black, no one could see anything. He got his wallet stolen and one of these people did it. Now, who was it? You think it's the grandma? I don't think, I mean, just based on logic, I don't think it's the granny. Why would granny take your money? Right. Whose story doesn't quite make sense when they were driving through the tunnel? I don't know. I don't know. This guy looking sus. Doesn't it look like he's hiding something, man, in his pocket? A little bit. I don't know. Let me see the stories again, man. Okay, she said she was listening to music. That's, okay, that makes sense. People listen to music on the bus. The old lady said she was napping. That also makes perfect sense. All right, she's sleeping. The guy said he was watching the road. It was so slippery out there. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were in a tunnel. Right. So, why would you nap in a tunnel? <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? Nothing. That's dangerous. So you think it's the granny? <laughs> yeah. So you think it's the granny because she was napping in a tunnel. Everybody knows. Not because it's incredibly dark in a tunnel and no one can see anything. Bada bing, bada boom. It's him. He lied. He said he was watching the road, but it was pitch black. He couldn't see anything. Ah, there we go. Let's see what the answer is. Wow. So yeah, as you remember, it got super dark in the tunnel. <laughs> I'm celebrating before I even know the answer. I know I got this one right. Yeah, let's go. The girl, the old lady, the story, check out. Let's go. The let's guy said go. he was watching the road, but... They were in a pitch black tunnel. There's nothing to see. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, now here is the final riddle. Now, this is just a word riddle. <laughs> what is the last thing you take off before bed? This doesn't have an answer. That's a trick question. It's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, guys, this riddle is very tricky because you might think, oh, maybe it's socks or like... Okay, no, it's different for everybody. I take off my shoes. <laughs> or Skechers. You don't have cool Skechers, so you can't do that. For that Adam, the answer would be his diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Any other guesses? Cause that's not the answer. <laughs> there is an answer to this riddle, guys. Hurts. And it's really tricky. My <laughs> the answer is not diapy. It's not, it's not Adam's diapy. No. Bro, the last thing you take off before bed. I don't, it's different for everybody. My glasses? Is what? The last thing you take off before bed. What do you take off 
before bed. You're clothes. <laughs> what? Why is that funny? People put out pajamas. Yeah, uh, okay, it's not that. What? It's gonna be something dumb, <gasps> like light. You take off the light, you turn off the lights. It's not lights, it's something to do with- Don't give me a hint! All right? Guys, let us know in the comments if you can beat me and get this one. Hold on. You were close with Skechers. Huh? When Stop you... it! All right, all right, all right, no more hints. What is the last thing you take off before bed? I'm locking pajamas or, or Adam's diaper. <laughs> one or the other, bro. All right, you want to see what the answer is? No, wait, I'm trying to think about this. Guys, let me know in the comments really quick. I can read the comments <laughs> and maybe figure this out. What is the last thing you take off before bed? Maybe ask Ghosty and Foxy. Hey, Ghosty, baby Foxy, do you know? What do you think, baby Foxy? She's gonna take a bite off a donut. <laughs> Hold on, dude. What is this? It's different for everybody. This makes no sense. What's the last thing you take off before bed? Yeah, Skechers. I take off my Skechers. I would go to bed. The last thing you take off before bed. All right, what do you think the answer is? Hold on! What's the last thing you take off before bed? I'm, guys, I'm actually trying to figure this one out. My brain hurts, man. The last thing you take off before bed. What about you, Ghosty? Ghosty, yes. Take a bite off a burrito! <laughs> All the fudgy just take bites off and stuff before they go to bed. <laughs> Hold on. What's the last thing you take off before bed? Adam takes a hug off his mom. <laughs> no, oh, it's man. not a hug from your mom. The last thing you take off before bed. Take off the covers or something. So the last thing you take off before bed. Before you get in to bed what's the last thing you take off it's different for everybody you're not Ooh. listening okay let's say you're standing by your bed yeah you're about to go to sleep yeah then you get in your bed what's the last thing you took off before you got into bed nothing i just walked into the bed like i said for you to be a diaper <laughs> All right, guys. I think we got to reveal what the answer All right, is. I give up. What's the answer? The answer is the last thing you take off before bed is your feet off the floor. That's not even true. Yeah, the, it's a thing about it. It's a riddle. Like you're standing on the floor. The last thing you take off is your feet from the floor. That's not even true. That's not how I get in bed. How do you get in bed? <laughs> I flop like a fish wash. You want to show us? Okay, pretend this is Justin's bed right here. So this is the ground. <laughs> I just, I'll be on the ground and then, and then, <laughs> oh, I just jump. Wow. The, the answer was your feet. You take off your feet. What does that even, what does that even mean? Guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go ah. check out LankyBoxShop.com nah, now. I won, I won, I won. Justin's that's not prize. Fair. That's not fair. Justin's prize was going to be this Hershey bar, but because he could not get the answer correct, that means that I get to eat it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to take off these candy bar fumes. Ah!